Mimi nikamwambia direct mngoja kwanza. Lazima tukoe na professional. Wewe yani wewe unafanya fans za kishwa shwa. Watu inabidi wa invest pia kwenye movie. You will not believe in his hands but it looks like Bali. Na hiyo ndio first time na mwana kanomba. Alikuona tu mtaani. By the way, hii ni exclusive. Nijaambia kama wenzoka 10 naweza kufanya I can give it to you nda. Nimeachika. Ia na burudika. Nyinyi jamaa nimeletewa zawadi leo eh. Ndio ndo kanambia bwana matukio na kuonaga kama unatoka toka jasho hivi. Leo nataka nikuletee KAC kidogo dogo. Jamaa nimeletewa AC kidogo dogo na mtoto mzuri sana eh. Ambao nimemkaribisha leo kwenye The Junction. Mm. Tajiri. Jilda, what's good? How are you, Charles? Mambo. Nafi, happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. Tujaona na mwakani. Well, Judah, tutazidi kuongea. Wewe Judah ni mbaya sana. Oh, Judah unajua kuna balaa umenifanyia kimya kimya. Oh, eh? hey. Mimi ndio balaa nitalihitaji kwa sababu mimi mwenyewe nitataka. Nipige tukio langu moja la kimya kimya. Eh? Unatupigia <laughs> tukio la kimya kimya globally. <laughs> ah, Judah. Kweli hata kutuvutia yule yule kijana kidimvu pale hata hata tusalimie jamani. Ah, sasa tabia nzuri. Kidimvu hivi mimi si endagi kidimvu. Wewe endagi kidimvu. Basi hata ungetudondoshe yule kijana hata 1245. Eh? Ah, how are you though? I'm very well, thanks. Thanks for having me. Uh, me too. Uh, na niko na ndugu yangu hapa. Hey. Je, kifa nacho kinanichanganya? Bwana huyu legend. Huyu <laughs> mwanangu legend kabisa kwa sababu wakati sisi wadogo wadogo eti mwanangu yeye anaigiza hadi leo hii mwenye anaigiza Patrick yeah what's good my brother ah, alhamdulillah afu mwana sasa ni mta Patrick ni jina lake ameigiza Othman yeah au unapendaga Patrick a lot sawa lakini kama mtu ambaye ananifahamu nje ya kamera lakini cha Othman Mm. na sound power zaidi na sound power zaidi eh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bana wala mkaribuni sana uh, karibuni sana sana kwenye the junction uh, okay. na leo yeah. si tuko hapa kupiga zetu story tofauti tofauti yeah. bana Othman yeah. uh, mtoto bana unajua shule yake <laughs> yeah amnigusii kidogo uh, m tuambie shule yako ile Othman ah shuri. why you putting me on the floor eh hey. Asa hapo wewe msali ukiambia kuputa on the floor maana yake nimekula za sakafuni ujue. Jude, Jude, tafadhali. Kiingereza asilimia 30 au 40. Kiswahili kingi utanichanganya akili hapa. Eh kuputa on the floor, jamii kuputa on the floor nitakufanya tabia gani? Tell me who's Jude? Jude and I'm just an entrepreneur. Kama wewe unakimbizana maisha, unakimbizana maisha. So, yeah, so and I specialize so much on um, luxury hospitality and coordination. Nini sema tena hapo? Luxury na hospitality. Okay. Na coordination ya yeah, um travel mm. and beyond. So if you're looking to get a visa nje or you want to book a hotel um or a function or a small event or a media tour, no, that's what I do. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> so you own a company ambayo ina deal na hiyo vitu vyote. Yeah. Oh. So yeah. Yeah, yeah msema hapo unafanya media tour? Yaani kama okay, Patrick anataka labda kufanya media tour uh, oh, the whole Tanzania ya mambo yake ya movie. Kwa anaweza kucheki wewe au kama um, Dar es Salaam. Dar es Salaam. Eh, Dar es Salaam. Yeah, Salam. yeah, yeah, da. Hmm. Lakini I'm um, based sana sana Zanzibar because hmm. wageniwengu wangu anashukia Zanzibar. Uh-huh. Anashukia kuna mahoteli, I recommend them. I make an itinerary for them before they land. And we specialize on transportation and um Ko ko yeah. hapa kama mimi nataka <clears throat> nataka ku shoot movie yangu na Range Rover 10. Mm. Nikikucheck wetu unapata Range Rover 10. Yes, kumi. unapata Range Rover 10. Nataka oh. ku shoot uh, na yacht. Like check wewe unapata yacht. Mhm. But also the location kama Range Rover 10 inaweza kupat I can give it to you in Dar. Mm. No without a doubt. Okay. Um Zanzibar there's several. Mm. There will not be 10 but there will be several. Yeah. I can make that happen for you. Yeah, you know. Girl, remember that, you know. 
Kwa hiyo wewe unafanya vitu fulani vya kishua shua, na kwa host watu fulani wa shua shua. No no no, kila mtu na mfuko wake. Unajua I just believe like unajua tu we come from somewhere. Alafu sometimes we travel hatujui tunaenda wapi, tunaenda Dubai, tumefika now what? Una plans yoyote siku zinaenda na na siku zinalipo you paying your airbnb uh, let's say 150 dollars a day mm. or a hotel ya yeah, 200 dollars or 300 or 400 in atege mm. it's the more frustrating part is when you traveled all, across the globe a different continent afu you unataka kufanya nini yeah. it's annoying yeah. the only thing you know is to shop like in kuna other activities you no know, that's where i come in or that's the part my business specialize yani oh, okay. mm. so we curate your arrival hotel itinerary kuna so many places activities to do yeah. kama in cape town or dubai kama nataka to go to hapo sasa hapo tome ni changanya kwa kama mimi nataka kwenda zangu dubai na pia naweza nikachek na wewe yes so we do your visa tickets place ya kukaa kama look you that i only have this budget I can give you a beautiful Airbnb in a, mm. in Nani in Dubai or a beautiful hotel within your budget. Ni wewe tu unataka nani and then activities na kupa and it's not necessarily as mo attend all the activities. Yeah. Leo le, let's say unaweza kwa sisi ko mm I come like mimi bwana kuna siku moja nimeenda zangu Zanzibar mambo hayo tumelipia yani eti asubuhi tunaanza kulazimishana kuamshana tukacheze dolphin mimi jana yake nimekula zangu vyuma kila nikimoresha wa jamaa bana mimi wewe huko utanichanganya nyenye mkitoa kwenye dolphin yani jamaa atakuwa unakosa sije nikamwambia mimi iko na wewe unachonambia nakosa basi ndio nataka kukikosa usinichosha asubuhi asubuhi usinifurugi kwa hiyo ndokoposa unanisumbua asubuhi wetu sio tu ni kalifa sije nini sio lazima Ah <laughs> sawa so, hapo sawa so, nimependa. Eh yeah, so there's different unaweza kuchagua any nani as long mm. as well unagree with your partner or we mwenyewe. Mm. Yeah so yeah. <laughs> yeah mimi nafikiri entertainment industry inahitaji sana watu kama yes. Yeah. Yes. Also sisi in a black community want to kipata hela we want the first thing we want to think about is to travel. Yeah. Umeona au kununua a luxury item or mm. nini? So mm. that is that I'm so grateful yani Tanzania tuna hub of tourism. Yani I believe 80% of our economy is tourism. Mm. Yani watu wengi wanashukia sana Zanzibar. Zanzibar. It's a different yani I feel like it's, it's a different country on its own. Una yani watu wengi sana and they're willing to pay a lot of money, thousands of dollars at a Serengeti and everything. Mm. So yeah, wengi sana and like I'm so grateful that the madam samia mama samia dropping mm. the royal tour yeah. it has boost a lot of tourism agents come on myself mm. and also a lot of um hospitality hotels a lot of investors international investors are investing so much in tanzania if i take you, if i take you to places in zanzibar mm. you not believe in zanzibar it looks like bali so kuna beautiful hotels come on me my recent Guess you like. <laughs> that place Chamba, looks yeah. like Bali. Mm. So there's places what wanataka kwenda wataki kuonekana na watu or they want the whole beach to themselves yeah. and you can pay within your own budget. Why not? Mm. So this is our job to search look for the best of the best. Ili we can provide you guys their best customer service and expectations na satisfaction it makes us happy, makes me happy. Na in integrezea mimi repeat business. Yeah. Napenda hiyo. Sawa. Patrick wewe bwana umeanza career yako kwa tu mdogo sana. Yeah. Kitu gani kilikushawishi wakati ule? Eh? Is it ni mama alikuwa ni rafiki wa wa Kanumba mm. au Kanumba alikuona tu mtaani au alikuona kwenye search yeah. like au wewe ulien, ulienda ba kwenye search ya kutafuta kutoka kitu gani kulikupush? au kwenye familia yenu bloodline yenu yani kuna uigizaji. Um, so uigizaji kabisa kabisa lakini kuna kuna hali fulani ya kupenda penda sana mm. ya kwa sababu kama babangu na familia yake kwa ujumla kuna kipindi marehemu babu yangu alikuwa wameenda Kinshasa. Mm. Walikaa huko almost kama six years. Kwa hiyo kipindi chote hicho walichokaa walianzisha hadi band. Yeah. Eh, eh, 
Mazisha band. Ya music band ya familia. Mependa. Walikuwa na imba imba na juu hivi sikama. Though mimi kuimba sijui. Lakini wao walikuwa na hivi. Sasa um mimi kipindi ambacho nakuwa mimi mm. nikiwa na umri wa miaka kama mitatu hivi mamangu alikuwa na rafiki yake ambaye alikuwa ni mwalimu wa sanaa mm. kwa alivyokuwa akija nyumbani yule kwa sababu ana jicho la sanaa yule mwalimu mm. akawa akinitazama vitu ninavyofanya akamwambia tu mama huyu mwanao atakuja kuwa msanii mm. kwa sababu kwa vitu anavyoniambia baba ataniambia cheka mimi nitacheka kama mm. anavyotaka yani nitafanya kile kile ambacho yeye ameniniambia nifanye mm. Kwa akamwambia tu hivyo mama. Sasa navoendelea kukua ilikuwa nakumbuka mimi ilikuwa asubuhi. Mm. Lazima nisikilize nyimbo ya za Defao. Mm. Na General Defao. Yeah. <laughs> Defao, lazima niangalie movie inaitwa Commando. Ah ah. So who's your Commando favorite actor? Kipenzi. My favorite actor. Uh. At the moment. Uh. Me. <laughs> of course apart from you. Uh, Who do you look up to? Um Denzel Washington. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Na wengine wapo bongo bongo hapa. I like Denzel, he's very consistent and yeah, he's been consistent. in the game for more than 30 years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's been humble about it so. Yeah. yeah. Kwa namtazama sana Denzel. So hiyo kukua na mazingira hayo mama anaendelea kuona na mm-hmm. vile alivyoambiwa ikaje ikatokea nafasi kwa mtitu. Mm. Tito ali to game fast, to game, game yeah. fast quality legend na legend kabisa kwa kuna kazi inaitwa White Maria so nikashiriki na hiyo mm. ndio first time ninamwona Kanumba unaona mm. hapo na miaka mingapi hapo ni miaka kama 6 hivi au 7 so you you've been an actor since uh, years like age 7 paka sasa hivi yeah. how old are you now i'm 20 i'm turning 26 wow yeah this august miaka mm. 19 hiyo manake mm. mm. ko baada ya pale ikaja ikatokea audition kwa kanumba mama pia kani push kwa mamangu amekuwa msaada mkubwa sana kwa ni push mm. kwa nikaenda kwa ni audition then from there paka leo tuko hapa yeah mm. kwa hiyo shadows shadows to mama mama patrick mama othman eh uh, mamangu pia ni actress yes yeah huko tutafika <laughs> lakini unajua familia zetu nyingi yeah. uh, ukifanya mambo ya sana sana kidogo inakuwa ina ugumu ugumu inawezekana ba mama na familia yako kwa sababu wamefanya sana kidogo yeah. wamekuelewa shout out kwake yeah juda yeah wewe ni mjasiri wa mali au si eh wewe umesoma nje abroad umepata exposure kwa nini kwa nini uko ucho ambacho unachokisomea sidhani kama ndio kitu ambacho unachokifanya right na um umesomea kitu gani Nimesomea fashion marketing and branding. Mm. Na nimesomea also travel and tourism mm. in my all level. Okay. And nilipata award and I never thought I would ever use it. Okay. Then Mungu mtu ni ajabu sana like honestly mm. I may collect the stuff nimesomea and my degree mm. and my masters and my all level mix all mm. together and your lucks by L. Oh, so so um uh, yeah. Ume, umeenda zako nje umekutana na vitu kibao mm. umekutana na exposure kibao vitu, why vitu why vitu. uliamua no 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 why uliamua kufanya iki kitu kwa nini usingeamua ba kurudi huku ukaamua za kuwa marketer ukaamua kuwa za kitu fulani unajua mm. lakini why uliamua kufanya kitu sasa mimi sasa hivi hapa nikimwambia mtu ah Jordan Jordan ukitaka kitu, mimi kwangu mimi wewe Jordan naona ukitaka kitu chochote ambacho Unaisi ni chakishua shua. Oh. Wewe mcheki Juda. Iwe gari la kishua, iwe ndege, iwe helicopter, iwe boti, hmm. iwe sijui nyumba. Eh, mimi Juda bana juzika tulikopo sehemu moja hivi. Eh, tukopo tuna photo shoot yetu wenyewe. <laughs> Juda akanipeleka nyumba moja, iko hapa tu around Masaki. Hiyo hmm. nyumba sebleni kuna swimming pool. Ah! <laughs> Sasa Juda, hadi nyumba na umeijuaje? Umeelewa bana? Kweli? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Na kwali kabisa. Basically yeah. quite project ya yeah, a friend of ours who were helping him promote his flowers. Yeah. And um we his team and my team we collaborated. Mm. Ndo I did the setup ya location. It was so last minute. Mm. Ndo Yaani yani hiyo ndo last minute kama ndo tumekutania pale. Watu wakwambia mapema ngikupo baraza zaidi. 
Yani. Ah, juu dawe. So Ju- waliona the place. Kwanza the place looks amazing it's in middle of Dar es Salaam ipo Masaki. Mm. And um imeka kama upo Zanzibar but mm. you're in Dar in the same sun. So uh, waliona everyone was happy and Kitu, the shoot went Kitu really gani well. Judah kilikuvutia kufanya like um to be honest, I missed a missing gap. Um, obviously, I'm grateful I got the Kibali to read the book and the books and the books and stuff. I got to when I was 12 years old. I went to South Africa as my primary school, Paka secondary, and then I went to for two years to get my Cambridge results. Don Lipata award ile ya tour, travel and tourism kuna all level ile mm. for those two years it was sing, um and then I went to the UK and uh, there in the UK I was there for seven years meaning that was my oh, thank you <laughs> that was my undergrad yeah my degree and my masters so obviously ni experience viote mm. like in what I saw I was like okay fine when I go back home, everything's going to be the same. I need to live. I need more mentality to quite the same. Mm. Kurudi, I was frustrated because there was a certain lack of customer service. Yeah, quality. And we have the resources. Mm. Yeah. We have the, the Tanzania is a hub of um, tourism resource, resources. Mm-hmm. And like so many people are flying down just for customers, just our services. Yeah. So, so that was what was missing, like the customer service of um, the, any the standard, the, the proper standard. Then I kept on, I was like, you know what? Let me just, um, at first I just took a kaida. I just like, you know what? Then my friends started coming down, like, from different parts. Mm. So I told her, oh, I know a friend number. Uh, can you host? Can you host? And I love hosting. Yeah. Mm. Can you host? host? So when they host, I would do car pickup, itinerary. All this was for free. Mm. Then I realized ah, I'm wasting my time because I don't want them. If I'm hosting, I need to do from any, I don't care. And I furai, I la mike. So that was what it was. I've been doing it for like, a good five years, then mm. all of a sudden I was like, you know what? I'm wasting my own personal resources. I mm. can actually make money out of this. Awesome. So I registered. I registered for the first year when the late was still on, Mr. Makofuli. Mm. Mm. Decline. Registered the second time. Decline. Third time. This third time. Come on, Mekubaliwa. Great. Come on, I've tried. Mm. The third time, that was the year he passed. And on me, I got the nanny. Mm. I was shocked. While I was registering, I was still doing the business, but I w- it was not on social media, nothing. Mm. My late father, Linyambea, Julda, Kama, oh, you want to do this? It has to be registered. And I'm like, I can't be waiting. Paka akubali. Mm. Like, I need to eat. Like, I need to... I, I like finer things in life when I do mm-hmm. So, but anyways, long story cut short, um, I got registered and um, once I did that and did my Fungo account, and then I started collecting the pictures I've been doing since 2017 mm-hmm. and all that. And now we're here and I'm grateful. I'm grateful. i kuna new people. I like networking, celebrities as well. So... I'm so grateful. <laughs> Patrick, to mongele bimkubo, mama. I was saying, kwenye mm. safari yako, uh, sana, I'm a play, but gani? I'm a play, but kubo, ah? Mm. Uh, but kubo, sana. Mwadiwa pia, uh, by the time, yana, ni support. Kwenye, kwanza kufanya sana, mwadiwa, mm. ya mietu pia, sana, Ina, plan, yeah, ina tafsiriwa kwa namna nyingine tofauti. Awesome. It's a tough market. Yes, yeah, mm. tough market. Like in at the same time ukifanya sanaa hasa kwenye umri mdogo. Mm. Yaani mtoto wako aende shule, unapanga kwenye maigizo. Yeah. Okay. So kuna time hiyo mama pia ilikuwa inamkata. Unajua mm. kuna time mimi za kaa nimeumwa, mm. kwa sijaenda shule. Sasa. Lakini majirani hawatafsiri mimi naumwa sijaenda mm. shule. Mm. Wanatafsiri kwamba ah 
Sana hiyo ndio mambo yotaki shule unajua. Lakini lakini muda wote wao yeye amekuwa Na hisi alikuwa anaelewa sana kuliko wao ndio maana alikuwa anaendelea twende tu twende tu twende tu twende tu kwa ame play part kubwa so mama peke yake hata mzee japo mzee kuna muda akaona au au mwe huyu unajua unajua watoto wa kiume wengi atu karibu sana na baba zetu tunaona tu usiku labda asubuhi akitoka basi au na muda mde naye kwa hiyo kuna time ah ujenda shule kwa nini ujenda shule kwa una umo kweli unajua vitu kama hivyo lakini mama bado akaendelea mm. kukaza. Kwa hiyo yeye kikweli yani ana mchango mkubwa sana. Vitu vingine vitu vingi sisi kuongea vyote mm. lakini mm. sawa sawa. Kwa sababu nakumbuka hata kipindi cha msiba wa Kanumba mm. kwa akili yangu tu ndogo mm. wakati ule mimi nikaona tena sina namna nyingine yoyote ya kuendelea kuigiza. Mm. Kwa sababu akili yangu yote ilikuwa najua kanumba apate kazi mimi nitapata kazi. Mm. Kwa ile time nika yani ah bwana mama misigizi tena lakini yani she was there. Mm. Bwana bwana sibili. Who was the best actor or actresses you've ever like worked? Yani like oh my gosh na naigiza na this celebrity I've been dreaming for. Kanumba kwanza of course. Wow, yeah. Yeah. Pia um Jackin Wolper. Okay. Yeah. International actors and actresses. Yeah, by the way, me and Chef Anika is more international. Oh nice. Yeah, 2022. What? Kenya. Okay. Mm. Yeah, kuna actress mmoja anaitwa Angel. Mm. Yeah, it range kama kama sijakosea jina. Mm. It range. Yeah, na mwingine anaitwa Sada. Mm. Mm. Yeah, wako kama wili watatu hivi. Kikule ni mkutano nao on set sembada ni noma and yeah. kitu kizuri zaidi nilikuwa mbongo peke yangu kwa hiyo mm. nilikuwa na ile ah, nitaweza kweli mm. yeah. is your dream yeah. kwa netflix well netflix na hisi kwa wote ambao tujie kuonekana ni dream yetu wa igizaji mm. yeah mimi pia mmoja wao yani na nitafika huko mwaka huu of course <laughs> yeah. 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 2024 2024 yeah. <laughs> uh, wewe ni balozi mzuri sana wa utalii right uh, ni ni em nielezee uoga unaitambulisha vipi Tanzania maana wewe client wako wengi ni uh, ni foreigners au say yeah. wanakuja unawapeleka wapi wewe Tanzania una yani unaiwakilisha vipi to the fullest balozi i will not say nimepewa ubalozi no no, no lakini ni, ni mwakilishi mzuri oh thank you mwakilishi mm, mzuri kabisa <laughs> Maana like kuna host watu kutoka nje ya nchi wanakuja huku na unawapa good time na lazima naamini wakiondoka lazima no. wasimulie wenzao. Eh hey, of mm. course that's how I get my repeat business. Kwa kweli I mean napenda kuambia watu Tanzania like you know it's not what you see like Kimanjaro and Zanzibar there's mm. more to that. Mm. Yaani nataka kuwatu of course I also want um any even the people in my 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 upper my country to make something mm. you know but i also like to one at this is beautiful and it's a place i am so grateful and it's like to show off mm. to the world like look tunai inchi and we you want to come to our country these are the beautiful resources you want to pay ndo hi you get what i'm saying mm. no yeah and i think tanzania are to the show of sana kwenye kipindi cha utalii like we ca- we have like ni so tuma show of sana so sana no? yani right. we need heavy celebrities to be going back and forth you know we need we need we need, we need, need, uh, we need hollywood yes we need uh, we need hollywood uh, movies yeah, no, 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 zenji ujen. zenji eh jenda ah true story <laughs> patrick kweli patrick kweli patrick ka vizuri na yeye kwa <laughs> atakupeleka sehemu ambao wewe sasa utamwambia una shilingi ngapi? Bami nataka kulala ayabembia dola 100, yeah. dola 150 atakwambia basi sawa. Eh atakuficha sehemu huko baba. <laughs> Ukitakata <laughs> simba unamuona. Eh. Na shughuli zake. Basi bana simba. Eh wewe mwachie huyu. Ah by the way mimi mimi na mimi na swali kidogo. Mm. Um 
na hisi kitu ambacho wanakifanya mm. uh, either vijana au tuseme watu wengi in general mm. wanatamani au wanaishi kufanya au waga wanakifanya lakini kama hivyo kama ulivyo kwa nafanya zamani yeah. tufanyeje ili na sisi tuwe kama wewe amen I, i just want to say unajua eyes on the prize mimi i try to do a lot of soft discipline i used to go out come out when we were young and stuff mm. like that like in there things it gets boring so you'll be doing the same thing over and over uoni hela ina ina double kuna accounts wala nini so you get frustrated you get frustrated now with the friends or the wrong friends so you cut that down unasema unataka nini number one you have to do a lot of sacrifice like meaning like cut down costs friends certain lifestyle habits evil mm. and then you start me I, like i used to play heavy hard music any yani like mm. on my car like in the in the mornings i only play podcasts that by the time ya kumaliza kazini ndo i play music zangu zile za you know what i mean mm. like the afro beats and stuff like that also at the same time like um hang around with the people you are very you admire to be in kujenga be around them where wanna safi not even safi coffee just try to take that risk on yourself and trust me you will never look back our to our ones or they'll be looking for you and mm. yeah and yeah a lot of self reflection meditation evil we surely though if you don't make sense kwao but they you start making sense by day so yeah uh, patrick wall kwapo token zile wa uh, watu wanauza kanda hmm? kwenye tv vhs zile paka sasa hivi mchongo yani sasa hivi da yani movie yenyewe kwanza sasa hivi kizaizai wewe unaelewa maana yeah. sikuizi michongo watu wanakuambia kuleta series au si ndio mm-hmm. mchongo hebu nipe tofauti huo eh? sana imekuwa au sana ime drop watu zamani walikuwa wanapiga mzigo au siku hizi ndio watu wanapiga mzigo uh, ah watu mimi kwa ninavoelewa mm. sije kuwa producer kwa nitaelewa nitaongea kama kama actor yes, um, mzigo watu wamekuwa wakipiga siku zote lakini mazingira ya kupiga mzigo ndio yamekuwa tofauti ikiwa na maana ya kwamba um, industry haiwezi ikawa imekuwa kama kila mtu ana produce kitu hicho hicho kimoja sasa elewa kwa hiyo tunahitaji movies pia kwa sababu movies pia mm. kwenda international ni rahisi zaidi kuliko hizi series zinazozitengeneza mm. elewa tunahitaji hayo masoko hayo tunahitaji tunaona kuna tamthilia za za kituruki za kikorea zinaonyeshwa kwenye tv stations zetu mm sisi si pia tunahitaji hiyo lakini tunahitaji hiyo movies zitaweza kupenetrate rais zaidi ya tamthilia umeona kwa hiyo hatuja balance tumeelemea upande mmoja kwa sababu mimi nakumbuka kipindi nakuwa tamthilia zilikuwa nyingi sana si kuna kaole nini kuna hii nini kuna hii nini kuna hii nini kuna hii nini na kuna time ikafika ika tamthilia kuna movie pia lakini sasa hivi movies hamna Mm. Sema, sema kibongo bongo kama movie tukoposwa jambo yetu kwa sababu kwenye kibongo bongo hata ukitoa movie nzi hizo babu mzee mm. kanumba na mwana Ray yeah. part 1 part 2 part 3 ah unaweza <laughs> kutafuta movie part 1 part 2 part 3 utakunichinjia baharini nini lakini ni movie moja nimemaliza <laughs> tena part tatu zote au okay, utakunichuna uh, hela zangu ni nwe zangu tepu tatu Charles ngoja mimi naweza ngawatetea mimi nahisi ya huo mtindo ulikuwa worldwide. Mm. Yeah, worldwide kwa sababu hata ukikum... zamani kwa kuna Rambo 1, Rambo 2, Rambo 3, baadaye ikakaa ndio Rambo 4. Kwa hiyo na hisi iko hivyo na hata sasa hivi bado iko hivyo ila si sana kama vile kama vile zamani. Kwa kitu kinachobidi kifanyike watu inabidi wa invest pia kwenye movies. Oh, investors pia no ni investors pia imekuwa kipengele na hisi um, serikali inabidi itie nguvu pia huko. Naona kwenye mm, mpira nimetia mm, nguvu na kweli hamasa imekuwa kubwa na unaona kabisa teams team zina perform. Unaona? Kwa hiyo unaweza ukaelewa nguvu ya serikali ni inahitajika sana kwenye industry yetu pia. <laughs> wewe mzee wangu wewe umefanya sana kwa muda mrefu sana. Na mtu aliyokutambulisha kwenye sanaa mm. 
ni legend kabisa ambao paka watu walisema bwana ah jamaa kaondoka na sana yake mm. unajua zile uh, wewe kama Patrick una mpango wa kuja kusaidia vipaji vingine like maybe kufungua uh, something ya kufundisha au ni ilikuwa tu ndo kismat chako ndo kanumba alikuona akakushika mkono ukaenda zako menela bana labda ndo katikati alivofarika akakwacha mwenye ukapambana kwa mambo yako paka ukafika hapo ulipo hmm. una na wewe unatamani kwa po mtu wa kutoa ku, kuja kusaidia wengine like kuja kuwa na in, na academy yako ya ni kitu yeah, yeah. chocho yeah? yeah, kitu ambacho lakini iko kitu bado sijakiona kwa wewe una msanii gani ambaye kila ukimove yako ukiwepo naye lazima wewe mwanao hata utamweka hata awepo tu anatembea tembea unayo wewe una wewe Ah. Uh, manake ni wewe bado bado hujanipa huyo. Au bado. Hapana. <laughs> Ila unajua kwenye kwambie kitu kimoja Charles. No. Mimi sitotaja majina. <clears throat> Ila kwenye industry kuna vijana wengi kama mimi <clears throat> ambao mmewaona kwa sababu yangu. <clears throat> yeah, for real. Wapo naweza kusema kama sita hivi au watano ambao mnawatazama lakini ni kwa sababu yangu. <clears throat> yeah, kwa namna moja au nyingine ni mimi nimefanya onekane. Nitakupa mfano, mimi nishai kupata kazi. Lakini nilivyosoma stories kuipenda ile kazi. Mm. Kwa hiyo nikamrecommend mtu. Nice one. Nikamwambia sikiza, mimi mimi sorry your values. Bana eh. Bana mimi bana naomba niongee hapa. Hapo kidogo naomba nipaongelee hapa. Wewe unajua mimi mwanangu tunafanya pia shughuli zetu. Eh mimi niki tana na story ambayo sijaipenda yeah. au ambayo sio sijaipenda ambayo naona si fitin mimi mara nyingi huaga yeah. naweza nikaongea na yule mtu I'm recruit mtu mwingine lakini hiyo kitu kwangu yeah. kama inakulaga kwangu naonekana ni bia yushu e, yeah. kama bwana matukio yanajikutana vimba hivi lakini sio kuvimba mm. kwa sababu naiona kabisa hii bwana ah bwana hii akipiga mwanangu Patrick yeah. tutaichinja kabisa mm. kuliko nikifumua mimi Mm-hmm. Eh hey, labda mimi na ah, kuna character fulani siwezi kuifanya. Mmenela mm-hmm. bana. Kulia kila saa, ah, labda siwezi. Mmenela yeah. bana, lakini kuna mwanangu anaweza kalia kinoma afu na hiyo story mzee ni yeye ni mtoto yatima. Mmenela yeah. bana. Sasa mimi hapa nitakufanya hiyo iwe siwe story fulani tam. Mmenela mm-hmm. bana. Yeah, I got that. Eh hey, Charles, you also an actor. You did a danga with the movie. Yeah. You did a good job. Thank you so much. By the way, hii ni exclusive. Ujaambie. Yeah. Mimi na Charles tupo kwenye kazi moja. <laughs> Sasa tena mwanao mzaramu. Mwanangu vipi? Bana tukaanza ku enjoy sana. Baba tunamaliza ile kazi tulishoot almost ngapi? 3 days. 3 days. 72 hours. No more than 72. Yo so so tulijoy. Atakufa mtu. Labda. Yeah. So when are you guys dropping it jamani? Eh hey, be you mm. rambe I come be mchaga tulia. Tuendelee kwa za Patrick mwanangu. Yeah, yeah, kwa hiyo kuna vijana wengi natamani pia niwape nafasi kama mimi ambao nilipewa. Nisiwezi kusema nilisaidiwa ila nilipewa mm. nafasi. Kwa na nikaonyesha nilichokuwa nacho. Mm. Kwa hiyo I believe mambo yangu yakinaendea vizuri kama ninavyoya picture mimi mwenyewe watu wengi sana naweza nikawashika mkono. Mm. Kwa namna moja ama nyingine tukaenda wote kwa sababu mm wanasema ukitaka kufika haraka nenda peke yako ukitaka kufika salama mm. nenda na wenzio kwa hiyo mimi nahitaji kufika salama sio kufika haraka kwa hiyo nahitaji vijana wengine wenye uwezo kama mimi sio tu wanaume lakini paka mabinti nini unajua mm. kusaidiana kufika usigune 
Ah, name is some. Hmm. What's the good? Ah, no, no, no. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> thank you, mm-hmm. thank you. Yeah. Um, when I pen the industry to, yeah, movies. When do we have one? I find up. To be honest, I'm very proud now how the industry and movie at Tanzania is growing. Tango mustaka no. Mm. I like the fact that the nation is starting to take it seriously. And um, yeah, also, um, I also like to see come on, people come on here to be on Netflix. Mm. Our inter- like, I would love to see you mm. in Netflix or, na- you know, heavy. Cel- actors and actresses in Nigeria. They've been there for more than 20 years. Not mm. on our TVs when mm. we were young. Yeah. So in yeah. us, it, it brings a certain look for the country that not only we do yeah. tourism and other resources, like mm. anyway, we also have Nani. But I also want to come a movie industry to push sana Nani igizo za Kiingereza pia ili nyo yeah. kwa international. Mm. Yes. Okay. Jolda yeah. anaomba pia kwenye shughuli zetu tu tunafanya English na kidogo iwepo. <laughs> eh hey, watu wa Kiingereza. Wao well, yani wanakuwa kidogo wanaachwa. Yeah. Kwa nao nimekipenda kwa ma producer wote wa bongo. Lizingatie yeah. nilo kidogo nao. Kwa sababu biashara kubwa sasa hivi duniani inatumika lugha ya Kiingereza. Au si? Au ukiweza kutumia lugha ya Kiingereza unaweza kuwagusa watu tofauti tofauti naweza kawa Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, yeah. Burundi, Rwanda, South Africa, Marekani, England. Apo to be na, honest, mm. I also notice a good um, film or a mm. good short film or they call it the short films mm. which has been trending. Yaani nimeona the ones compared ya ya Nigeria na hap Anyways, the Nigerians or any other nani, the ones that will take you seriously is the one if you invest on um, costume. Mm. Ile, mm. Yani unajua bui kweli ametupia mm. Jivanchi mm. from head to toe and it's Jivanchi ya maana. Yani. Mm. Or ametupia the best makeup artists, yani mm. best locations. Yeah. And when I have a conversation or a fight at, mm. I'm not a fight, but a mm. bar fight, yeah. And there's a scene, a bar fight at Elements. Yani, Sims a man, a man, a Hyatt. And I want like these big um, hotels and Niniwa collaborate now. What was Sana Kamani? What are you being? I tell you. And, yeah, yeah, I worked. I mean, Mimi, how I got these hotels, Niniwa, um, I used to take content sana. Oh, when he's in my hotel. Yeah. And I want to tell you, you're just doing for fun. You know, why? It's not going to pay you. Mm. I knew exactly what I was doing. Kuchukwa is the content. I can tell my clients kuna places kama hizo. Na I invested in photographers na nini evil. Yeah. Kama hii kipindi cha when I was with Rema and them. When you were in like Tanzania, when you were in Tanzania, it was just like, like in one meshanga when you there were places yani you would never think ipo kama Zanzibar imeka mm. kama Maldives or Bali maji imekuwa kama umeona and unataka ni picha hizo bana wewe bana ndugu yangu tulia eh ndugu yangu tulia inabidi uh mwezi wa mwezi wa pili wewe eh ile 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 tukimaliza Eid Eid na Christmas kama zinafuata nafuatana hivi Eid na Christmas i mean oh my bad Eid na Easter Yeah, Masaka yeah. kama zinafuatana. Kwa hapo kama kwenye mwezi wa 4 hivi tukichange. Alafu tunamtafuta zetu Juda. Kweli. Eh, hapo na bwana Juda. Bwana sasa sikiliza. Sasa hapo tunataka kama siku tatu hivi tukae yeah. zetu Zanzibar tuwe. Oh shingapi unataka? Eh mlio. Ah basa sitakutia mlio na nusu. Na photographer mlio na nusu. Sio nataka fulani zetu. Na photographer tunakupa. Yaani Kweli eh? Nimependa hiyo, nimependa hiyo. Patrick, uko mm. kwenye muda mrefu, niambie sasa utofauti wa, wa ule Patrick e, na sasa hivi, yani Patrick kama ndo lina kufumi Patrick mwanangu sababu wewe mwanangu ndo wanapenda yeah. kukuita Patrick. Yeah. Excuse me, Otto Othman. Niambie sasa ile ule ule Patrick na ule Othman. E, niambie ule tofauti. Kwanza ulivoanza paka sasa hivi kuna changamoto, kuna ugumu gani au kuna fursa, kuna nini? Uh, unajua ugumu ugumu ni kwamba kile unavoendelea kukua na watu wanakuona kwenye industry mm. watu wanakuwa wana expect vitu fulani ufanye 
unajua na ubaya ni kwamba ukishaonekana ukishakuwa na jina maarufu unakuwa uh, public property yani kila mtu anahisa na haki juu yako yani kila misa, kila mtu anahisi anaku own unajua kwa unakuta pressure na kuwa kubwa sana nyuma kwa sababu vile ambavyo wao wanavitegemea havioni pengine mm. unajua kwa mfano kama my brother Hashim Ibwe mm. amekwambia mm. amena na Hashim anambia kwamba una jina kubwa kuliko unavyofanya mm. unajua sasa kauli kama hizo ukisema kwa mtu kama Hashim mm. lazima urudi nyuma usimi ah, kweli eh kwa unifanye nini mm. okay na binifanye moja mbili tatu kwa hivyo ndio vitu ambavyo vinakuwa Sometimes ukivifikia sana vinaweza vikakutoa kwenye reli mm. unajua vina ku distract muda mwingi ila miki ukweli uh, endelea kupambania sanaa yangu na hivyo vitu vingine vyote waga vinakujaga na na time unajua time kwa so bado naendelea kupambana na hivyo hivyo taratibu taratibu mm. yeah washikaji zangu bwana sisi vijana <coughs> mwana hapa tumetoka kuongelea kwamba tutamtafuta kipindi cha pasaka yeah juda tutumbue zetu milio milio mwana bwana eh. kuna tatizo wa sisi vijana kwenye utunzaji wa fedha tulizungumzia kwenye utunzaji wa fedha kwa nini sisi vijana tunapenda uh, maybe like serious life ni lifestyle spenders eh, ni, 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 ni kitu cha muhimu ambacho tunakihitaji kweli au ni tunafanya for the gram kwa nini zoela tusingeza kuziinvest na kwa nini hatuwezi kutunza hela let's talk about it yani mimi kama jana mwezako like nimeamua yani if i want to do something lazima ni save otherwise there's no way i can do it kama kipindi ile nilikuwa na awasani wangu Justin na Rema mm. once they left i also needed my own a uh, break so mm. nilipiga kazi sana i was working 12 12 hours to any on the clock mm. and paka ni sana jamani mm. enough is enough i need a break otherwise there was no way ni quick ni rudi kaida mm. after what i did so i just purchased a ticket straight to Ghana the same day i was traveling mm, why ghana um my friend was getting married oh also ni kwenda kusanya wateja they are lifestyle spenders oh ah watu wa africa wao ni wateja wako kubwa 90% of my clients are lifestyle spenders okay. so i needed to go where the lifestyle spenders are mm. and i'm not talking about the fact that yes i'm going to support my friend mm. i was a bridesmaid but also i'm going to study the market why people spending nini 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 mm. wakipata salary nini nini they they travel right like any majority of them these people wamefungiwa ndani because of um they had no holidays within or it's first time kuja africa wanakuwa washamba washamba you know oh my gosh a chicken oh my kuna mambo hivyo you get oh when africa the motherland wakanda forever any the list is endless oh kule kule gana hata yani watu wengi kutoka pia us huko nini wanakuja na kuna wateja wengine wanakuja hivyo they think the same like tanzania wakanda for you get what i'm saying okay what 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 was ambao sio africa wanaamini kule west africa ndo originality so they do the most and instead of going to like nice gourmet restaurants or nice no more restaurants when in like the local restaurants on akula ile umone okra soup and do the most and really enjoy while i was there mm. like you need to be honest i think it's self discipline na maisha yako inaendaje you're going to start a, a family obviously you need to feed your wife and kids yo kupata hela salary unakimbia kununua hennessy it's not going to feed your wife and kids you'll be looking irresponsible as a man in the house mm. or vit kama ah, hii sasa ngoja kwanza mimi hapa nimepata zangu endorsement also my my, my mimi hapa nimepata endorsement ya milioni 30 congratulations ah nimesema mfano ngoja kwanza <laughs> bana lakini uta, utapata no worries, sawa manifest ah, ne, hey, yeah. 
nimepata endorsement ya milioni 30. Mhm. Siji sina gari bado. Mm-hmm. Sawa bana. Osman ananishauri eti nikaanze kanikanue kiwanja. Wakati nikinua gari sio lazima ya milioni 30 hata kama milioni nane au kumi, yeah. itanifikisha kwenye mishemishe zangu. Umeelewa bana? Na nikifika kwenye mishemishe zangu nitamtisha hata huyo client ambaye nimefika kwenye mishemishe za na ukiwa na ukiwa na gari. Eh, yani kwamba wewe, yani sasa sasa wewe unajua binadamu alivyo. Eh, my brother, mzee wangu wewe hapo sasa hivi tunaenda kwenye deal. Yeah. Wewe una una haria, mimi na range. Sawa bana. Tukifika pale. Yaani my brother sijui utanizidi nini mimi wewe hapo tukitoka pale wewe umepewa la nyingi kuliko mimi. Labda wewe una kipaji cha hali ya juu. Lakini tukifika pale kwanza ule boss lazima mimi niwe nimemtisha. Eh, kwamba eh Mamba na range, sasa nitamtajia bei gani? Umeelewa? Yeah. Iko pia nacho kina mata tu sikisahau. Kuna wengine wanakodisha re- yeah. magari yeah. for a meeting. So anaenda kumuona Charles. Nataka yeah. kuonekana wewe ah! Juda we. Aujui. Mimi kuna wateja wangu na wajua. Kuna wateja wangu na wajua. Unaenda kwa nakutafuta. Juda ni kama ta meeting tu na mtafuta zangu Juda. Bana Jude, sasa sikiliza. Leo hapa mimi nataka nini unajua? Leo nataka mimi na Martin. Eh sasa sasa mtu tutapata api Dar es Salaam. Ah wewe zipo. Ne zipo. Wewe zipo na Lamborghini. Eurus ikosekani kwa Aston Martin. Haju dai unaniangusha. Okay. Mwenela bana kwa hivyo vitu pia kutishana kuko. Okay let's be realistic. Jiwagen. Jiwagen. Sasa Jiwagen pale wewe utaonekana tu yani lazima nimerekodisha. Basi range. Eh, you need to look realistic when kinanisha kwa eh sababu hiyo mtu anakupa hiyo deal anataka anakusoma hata hiyo gari umetokea vipi You have to be smart Kwa ukienda ukienda zako pale na mbwembe nyingi sana unaweza kumchanganya Yeah inaitwa pretentious Unajua mtu anajua kama huyo pa anadu ana too much yani ana to prove you starting to not sound authentic. Mm. She get. So kwa mwenye and everything, kama kweli unataka kunywa na hiyo gari lako mm. well and good, mm. but inatakiwa kumachisha na status yako. Okay. So, so don't yeah, yeah usije umekuja na gari ya diamond ya blue ile. What's Rolls Royce. Ndio ile ile yeah, she mm. get. Mm. <laughs> Wakati it's only one in town. Mm. Ya blue. Mm. Yeah, blue. Mm. So you see the Zip ipo moja zipo kadhaa kama zipo chate. nyingi yeah. but that color Asa, yeah, say, that color ah, is like color ipo moja yeah, color okay. moja that color is one Asa, so, na kila mtu ndo nimenua jana ndo nimetia rangi what are plex numbers naonekana ah anyways oh. naonaga wateja kama mm. all the time mimi mm. kazi yangu ni kwa dumia what they want mm. lakini my biggest advice chukua gari that matches with your work status. Hata mm. yule mtu kufunga hiyo deal with a meeting anakuelewa mm. na una nani hivyo. Eh hey brother, <laughs> hey mtu uliongelea <laughs> swala la la kuhifadhi ku, ku, hela. Mm. Wewe unajua production zetu hapa yeah, zetu. Kuhifadhi wa hela wa vijana. Ya yeah, mimi mimi bana mimi ni muhanga. Kwa hilo swala. Kwa hilo swala. Lazima mm. ubane. Yaani ah, sasa wewe kubana si mwanamke kwa sababu wewe unajua. Hao hao anachezesha kipiga simu zake fulani fresh. Sasa wewe wewe hapo mzee wangu wetu sasa hivi una milio yako fulani hivi account. Mara hapo utasikia tena mama anataka nini na mshona. Nini yeah. sina ndugu anataka. Nini sina nani anataka. Nini sina nani anataka. Michango za harusi. Michango za misiba. Na sasa hapo tena kuna wale watoto. Mimi na hisi wanaume wengi ni wahanga wa hiyo issue. No you know what? It's your company. No. It's your company. No. No. Eh hapo Juda mwenye anakata. Juda wewe na No 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 Juda sio hiyo. Friends wapo? Kweli wapo. Kwa na mafriki they help you save money and also invest. Mimi so mimi sina marafiki no, 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 mimi sina marafiki ambao wetu wanatumia <laughs> mzigo wangu. Ah ah mzigo mnatumia nyinyi. Jamani yeah, collect your money and travel. Sawa <laughs> tumekuelewa lakini sisi wanaume na hisi tunahitaji darasa kubwa sana la kusave pesa. Kweli. Mm, of course yeah. that means unatakiwa ku cut um unatakiwa ku sacrifice narudi kuna ile kipengele yeah. what i just stated sacrifice cut friends mm. cut life lifestyle unaikunywa unatumia mm. unaona hela zinajenga then you start making 
um, executive decisions. Say. And then kwana marafiki that helps you build your money, not spend your money. Say. If you're gonna be with friends that are gonna help you spend your money, those are not your friends because kuna kipindi cha shida, kweli Charles ame alikuwa na boda boda, amekata na migu, are they gonna be there? Someone you sometimes. Some I tunataka Charles anatakiwa at, at, achangiwe. Sometimes uh, si tu marafiki. Sometimes familia. Mm. Bro, unajua watu wengi tumetoka kwenye familia ni zile ambazo akitobwa mmoja yani bwana ndio huyo kila mtu anashika hapo hapo yani mwamba mm. eh yani ndio huyo huyo sasa unakuta uwezi kuacha unajua kuna hii da nilikuwa nao kipindi naangaika mm. sasa with that being said yeah. unajua Tanzanians we don't have boundaries mm. hatuna boundaries ya uchaza mshikaji wangu mm. Osman mshikaji wangu so in adult life lazima tujue msimamo wetu tuna what we can tolerate and not tolerate yani kubaliana maisha na tukubaliana maisha sasa sometimes families they don't know boundaries wanaku wanakuingilia mm. Osman you can have a girlfriend sijui then that family member anakuja unannounced anamleta bibi sijui kijijini or something well and good upo radhi kumsaidia bibi wako Jordan. but lazima wa... mimi siko mfano na kuoa wewe manake lazima niambiwe Oa boga na maua yake. Mm. Mjombake Juda akija pale, msikilize. Mdogo wake Juda akija shemeji, anaomba mtaji inabidi umsaidie. Kwa hiyo issue ni au sisi ndio wafu. Asante. Mm. Issue ni mfumo. Asante. Yeah, yeah. yeah issue yes. ni mfumo. Yaani hapo Juda hapo tutakuwa na ndanganya. Kwa sababu sisi Waafrika tunajua nyi. Yaani yeah, lazima ju- tus- tusaidiane, yeah. lazima. Mm. Lakini obviously tuna lazima mtaarifu mwenzako mapema like jamani kuna jambo a b is not ghafla umeona yeah, lazima pia uangalie ah, sasa moja kwanza mimi hapo juda mke wangu mm. alafu ndo ndindu anafungua geti hivi anamkutana babu yuko na bibi yeah. wa kwake yeye mwana labana paka yeye mwenyewe kwanza anaogopa kwanza bwana mtini ambi eh yeah. hey, lakini hawezi kudaiwa kwamba inabidi tujifanye pale ndo kama babu na bibi wamekuja mwana baba hii ndo sisi wa Afrika hiyo ndo shida yetu ukioa uboga unaoa na maua yote hadi na vile viboga vidogo vidogo mfumo yani da mfumo unatu lakini lazima ujue msimamo and everything na lazima usaidie familia ya ili wasikuzidishe and stuff and then you be fine yeah sasa kama kuna story moja hivi ya mchezaji mpira ile Emmanuel Adebayo mmm dai inaumiza ukisikia yes yeah man Emmanuel Adebayo alipata alipata nafasi ya kwenda kucheza Ulaya mm-hmm. Faransa. Kwa hiyo he, which country is he from? France. Mm-hmm. Ah yeye ni Togo. Ye, Togo. Togo. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Lakini makazi yake sana yeye ni Ghana. Ghana. Yeah. 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 Kwa hiyo yani yeye baada ya kupata nafasi tu hata ajaanza kulipwa mm. pesa. Familia ishaanza kudai kila kitu. Nataka moja, nataka mbili, nataka hivi, nataka kuna kipindi kafika akawa hawapi kile ambacho wao wanataka ikataka paka anaamka usiku anakuta mdogo wake amemshikia kiso ndio ako mchomo oh my days yeah. Yeah. it's crazy and it was crazy kuna kipindi akamfungulia mama yake mgahawa akasema mama kwa sababu mimi mwanao nina jina kubwa kama hili mm. huu mgahawa uite jina langu ili wateja waje mm. lakini ika bado haitoshi kwa paka mama yake akaenda against naye eh. kwa sababu wao wana expression zao kwamba mm. huwa analipwa milioni labda 50 because this is hii 20 inabidi yatupe huyo mm. kumbe si vile ambavyo inabidi iwe ali, 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 ali nua, uh, nyumba ya 2 million dollars mm. Ghana mm. akawa akawapa familia ndio wao wanakaa because siku moja kama akamrudi zake kutoka wakati wao anacheza si Madrid si anacheza mm. Arsenal mm. akaja kama ile kwa surprise <laughs> bendera bana Mm. Anafika pale anapiga oni, anatoka mlinzi anamuuza bwana wewe. Mm. Kwanza mlinzi kwanza anataka kumuuza wewe nani afu ndo anamuona ba ade ba anamfurahia vipi umefata nini kwa kwa bosi hapa anambia bwana hapa si kwangu anambia kwako. Bwana nyumba na kama mzee fulani anambia bwana mzee fulani vipi? Familia washauza hiyo nyumba. Jamani. Wewe hey, jamani kwa depressed paka ndo mwisho wa siku akafeli kwenye biashara yake. Akafeli yeah, mpira. Mm. Kwenye mpira akafeli ule mchezo. Kwa sasa hivi jamaa family yake ashai cut off kabisa. Mm. Ana no manana. Kwa sababu for yeah. his mental health. 
mental health kabisa kwa mfumo yani mfumo wetu and also mental health is very important ya man very important yeah, we, we tend to ignore it we tend to drink it mm. we tend to go out mm. with it we tend to eat it mm. lakini ipo there we need to face it yani ndio wewe wewe juda ukikutana na 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 shughuli yani ambayo imekusumbua kichwa like na kuvuruga vuruga kabisa wewe waga unafanya nini I meditate yani ni kitu nimejifunza majuskati it works like magic mm. um nipo in a quiet environment in car room or um by the ocean mm. sana sana chumbani kwangu mm. or in the car i just breathe in really deep and breathe out na na what I vision where I want to be or hiyo kitu itoke vipi. Yeah. And um I breathe out a 5 minute or 10 minute session. Ivo, it makes me relax na nani because when it's out of your will, yani out of wazo wako, ndo mm. unafanya hiyo kitu. Otherwise you can't do anything everything by yourself. Mungu anampangwa ana kila kitu and he plans everything. Yani ni kitu nime meditate kwenda Ghana meditate hour sani kwa mm. kwa host from Rema and Kule Gold Justin Sky feels the mm. list is endless. Ni vitu I vision mwenyewe. No. Watu walinicheka, watu wamenizomea, what families who didn't understand who, where I was going. Waliona ni it was just a hobby lakini like, mwishoni Mungu anakuteneza mfumo badala mm. anakubless with repeat clients obviously celebrities good relationships na services at like hotels and restaurants mm. watu pia and evil mm. Jolda squeeze bana kuna trend flani ah basi nitaki mwanaume kama ana sauti kama Jaiva eh kwani Jaiva nitaki mwanaume ambaye so mrefu Jaiva is trending because of his voice. Hoffman. Ivi mm. nyona wake waga mnasemaga ni kweli au mnaoga mnaturushaga roho tu. Ili madi tu. Yaani tuavuruge tuavuruge tu. Spoil spoil. Ah watu wana sound ni watoto. Yaani young. Mimi I was just like that. Kwa sababu nataka mwanaume wangu akwe he B C D. Let me like the body na kipara. Asa ni kipara wataka una video vichwa. Yaani eh, all the stuff nilikuwa nasema we stuff okay yani vyote. And then maisha inabadilika. Mm. Things are not like you know unaweza kuanza you know what? Mm. Kama wewe pa na uwezo mm. na napenda qualities yake I can adjust. Umeona? Mm. Lakini anatakiwa kumachisha with the same mm, maisha na mimi. Mm. Otherwise tunadanganya hapo. Kumachisha hapo umemaanisha vipi? Yaani inabidi wewe uhakishe umeanza zako, vipi ni sijui. Yaani his hustle kama wewe. His hustle match, has to match with my hustle. Mm-hmm. And if he, he has, his hustle is more than mine, that's even better. Mona, tunaweza kuongea my more. Tunaweza ku invest his, more. His hustle is mine is better. Yaani kwamba wewe unaingiza mzigo kuliko yeye. Umeona? No, no, no. His mm-hmm. anatakiwa kuingiza mzigo kuliko mm-hmm. yeye kuliko mimi because uh, he's a man ko, right hebu uh, niambie hapo nafasi ya hela kwenye mahusiano ni nini yani kama wewe yani yani wewe uh, mwanaume wako ambao unamtaka ni lazima yupo na mzigo uongo uongo mzigo ni muhimu sana mimi mchaga haya wewe kwa ni mapenzi na pesa ma pesa kwanza no 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 mapenzi first okay ah ulichotuambia alichotuambia tofauti na alichosema Labda how you received it was wrong. Uh-huh. Mimi kwa nimekulia kwa familia mapenzi, mm. tumelewa kwa love, mm. nimezaliwa out of love. Mm. <laughs> also at the same time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also at the same time um yani mimi I'm big on love because mm. ikikuwa mapesa hapa. Ah mm. you'd, you'd be see me in Dubai right now because mm. Wasichana wengi they focus sana na hela. They don't care if it's your babako, mdogo, mjombako la nini. And it's really bad. Lazima uko na moro zako, yani mwanamke mwenyewe unajisimamia. But also um hii kweli inaendana. Una hisa wanawake wasikizi wanasimamia moro zao au ni mzigo? No, like some yani hata hapa Tanzania be careful wanawake wanaibana each other's mans. 
in a boat. Oh, it's my boyfriend. Oh, let's go for dinner, guys. Three months, four months later, your boyfriend or people are afkiak. It has never happened to me, thank God. But now na yo sana. Okay, go turn the next question to one. Bo. Unaweza kunikuta gereza. You meet me when Salime Gerezani. Kweli? Be. Yeah, no hizo kwa mua mtu. No si mue mtu. Utani utampiga sana, utamchoma choma visu. Utamfanya. I'm just a silent killer. Yes, so. Okay. Oh, I'm so sad. But <laughs> <laughs> I'll do so strategic you won't even know. Like uh, when it comes to your man, it's your man. No, yeah. my yeah, if you mess with my money and my man, yeah. those two things, mm. it will really tough out. Any I'm a different person. Mm. Yeah, I don't I don't mind if you and I don't care if yeah, any personality mm. um not like I I want to see how you treat the waiter, Mona, mm. those kind of things. Oh no, na je maisha. Leo leo na kato na. Ngoja kwanza nikupe story. Bana mimi hapa. Mimi 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 na wanangu unanijua. Eh? Mimi bana yani ni kidondo kage sehemu lazima niwe mchangamfu. Eh. Mimi wanawake wangu wengi sana. Mm. Nagombana nao. Ngifika pala ba sasa wana kuna restaurant kuna restaurant saje zile basi dada amekuja pale madondesha mtoto na mtani atani ana check ni afuna afuna napenda kuita neno mpenzi ah sasa sinapenda tu ah mpenzi yani kweli nyama ndio koro hivi si nini ni si nini we we you shooting yourself in the foot boss you majirani basi toa kuna migupa kwa hiyo kwa uko mkifika zako sema wewe unabidi tu ni wewe mpole mkaje umeona chini umeona mwanangu wewe mwanangu mimi kina mpole Huyo mwanangu mkime mpole. Ndio maana wakati tunaanza show yetu, tukiwa tunaongea kwa utaratibu. Yaani mimi namjua mwanangu ni mkime mpole. Hapendi uongee. Sasa mimi siko hivyo. Siwezi tukonda tini. Same way. Okay, eti ni wezangu tu mstarabu tu. Asante dada. Ah uh-uh. ah. I know you are natural charmer. Mbona hujaletea ice hapa? Sini. Sasa huyo mtoto sasa huyo mhudumu mimi nitaondoka naye bana na wewe bebe. Maana hapa kuna kino sometimes watakuchanganya akili. Unajua anakuwa na hizo unaweza ukarudi bale. You can use other words apart from pain. Mpenzi ni my love. Ai. Unatumia besi eh? Ah, ah, mimi eh, ngoje nikwambie hivi. Ah, something. Ah, mimi eh. mimi girlfriend wangu mtu wangu girlfriend wangu ukiongea like, mpenzi like, ukiongea mm, tofauti na mtu ambavyo yeye labda anapenda au anataka. Anambia mm. don't be rude. Be ah, nice. Ah, ah, Unaona? Mimi nasikuwa. Mama, kwanza mama hao tusimtaje jeu tusimtaje. No, mama mama pende. Ana video Ben don't be rude. Yeah, don't be nice. Yeah. Sasa uh-huh. wasi tupenda kugeza chakula. Kwa ile mimi nikaa shaivaa kwa okay kwa inabidi niende na hivi nini. Penzi si ilikuwa jipya. Kwa nikaa nimekop na yeye anapotaka. Sasa baadaye ikawa tena uh, mtu labda ameita chakula kama hivyo msichana. Uh-huh. Tulikuwa mitaasinza watu hivi uh-huh. chakula ni nini. Asa nikajisawa ngamuita mama naomba uniletee kitu fulani. Na angalia kushoto unaona. Ndoto kasha mind hapo. Lakini you said no more mama. Uwezi jua mama. Yaani yo mama hiyo anaitumia nayo kwake unajua. Kwa hiyo issue ni kwamba ah unamtaja jina mbomu unaniita yani ah nikasema wanaweza tu sikuelewa. Wewe wewe una kidoza kuelewa. Anaweza kukuambia si muona kama anakuambia hapa si ufanye nini lakini ukifanya hicho ambacho anakitaka na kwa shida. Lakini it's nice kuwa na mwanamke anajiamini. So mimi mimi napenda kuwa na mwanamke ambaye anajiamini. Yaani wewe hapa. Yeah. Hata akija mwanamke yote mbele yangu mimi, yaani wewe unajua kabisa ni mimi boyfriend wangu mimi aweza hapinduki kwangu. Eh hata ataongea naye vizuri nini. Kama nikikuwa let's say in a restaurant na nimekuwa mpenzi wako whatever. Na wewe inshallah. Imeshachukuliwa. Mwache Juda, mwache Juda. Tusifike huko. Juda is my friend. Yeah. <laughs> And then umeanza kwa inappropriate meaning like ah mpenzi umependeza. Mm. So, yani mimi be like umeona we just met the waiter after we were doing the most. Yani lengo yako ilikuwa nini? Hapana. Sasa una, mm. unajua unajua pia yule yule ni waiter, eh? Ajapenda kuwa vile. 
kwa watu ukimuita mpenzi yani kwa kieneza kani kitu kikubwa na njoo kumboost yes. lakini kuna different words unaweza kumuita best or something best vipi bwana yule best yangu wapi yule mpenzi yani yule mpenzi tu mpenzi mtazamaji mpenzi muonaji wa penzi letu eh sana nitazama penzi wetu mimi nimekuja na wewe basi it was a long ride back home because our dada belalamika Wow, wow. Yeah, 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 it was crazy that day. It was crazy. Sikipenda hata mwenye. Ujalala vizuri. Eh, sema sasa kuna mtu kaniambia hutakii kulala hata kama mmegombana, kama mnapendana. Of course you have to bina kinyongo kinyongo hivi inabidi mnaweza. No, you solve your issues before you go to sleep. Yeah. No, hapo unaambiwa haupati hata makunjo makunjo ya uso nini? Eh, lakini sasa kama unataka kupata makunjo makunjo ya uso wewe lala na mpenzi wako bila kufry ukasoka kitu kizuri umeelewa bana mm. eh um, kama wewe umegombana mpenzi wako nini fanya unavyofanya chezesho unavyocheza also relationship yeah. shows za kushindana <coughs> like because umemuumiza mwenzako yeye anataka kukumiza it's just heading to right yeah. Mm. So, yeah so toa your ego out of relationship kweli unampenda wewe mtu wako Mm. lazima utoe ego fix it kweli una if, you, if the, it's worth fixing mm. ili ujiendeleze for better for both of you guys uendelee hivyo otherwise kushindana because huyu hapa amemuita mpenzi afu next time akienda restaurant anamuita jamaa mwingine mpenzi uh, yeah it makes sense yeah. issue mm. yo mwenye sijaipenda hiyo sasa exactly sasa imagine her <laughs> receiving the same okay yeah. nyie mnazingatia nini kuingia na kwenye mahusiano ya mtu like kitu gani ambacho kinakuvutia au kinakukata mtu akiwa anafanya kitu fulani hivyo lazima kukata I don't like when someone is arrogant eh, I don't like uh, pretentious yani mtu ana lie unajua kuna wengine they lie and they believe their own lie so unaweza kusema mm. ah nimetokea kwenye familia tupo watatu kumbe hi- he's actually ametokea yeye na mama yake to you get mm. just to make just to apate goal flani yeah. inaonekana mm. or anadanganya masomo yake mm. or the degree na masters umezoti ni fake oh, eh ni fake mm. okay you get what i'm saying sema tu kweli umetoka nani unyani na wewe kama eh. matukio tu eh. shule katikati mwenyewe chuo pale wewe ulikimbia nimetoka gerezani au something na promotion wewe ukaona zinakuchanganya <laughs> so those kind of things are like mbari yeah and also like um lazima akwe na Mungu yeah, yeah. yani hiyo inaleta principle in life right, right. otherwise watu wanaweza kuisa lakini sasa ngoja kwanza hapo tuende kwenye Mungu mm. bwana sikuizi <clears> watu wengi wana fake Mm. Yeah. Mtu anajifanya yeye mtu wa Mungu. Kumbe e, mtu mwingine yani unajua zile lakini mada hii tuko sababu yeye baba anataka kuwa na wewe. Mm. Bana Juda baba Juda nishagundua lifestyle yake Juda lazima aende kanisani kila Jumapili. Mm-hmm. Kwa sasa mimi najua nikitaka nimpate Juda. Nipo kanisani. Kuna mwanangu Osman ikifika Juma hii Juma ile Juma Mosi nimemko na mimi hapo. Osman anapiga simu ya mwanangu. Ndio tunaenda za tu club. Naambia Osman kesho sasa ndo jumapili Charles wewe umekuja kanisani yangu afu jarudi tena Ah sasa kanisani kwa kupale bana kuna wanawake wazuri wengi pale kuna kwa temptation Si ocean <laughs> temptation gani Watoto wazuri wa wengi yani <laughs> wana kondo Aja my brother nataka nikupeleke kwa kanisa Hapana Hey unatoa hey, yasha Kwanza kanisa kama tuko zetu cinema <laughs> Eh hey, kanisa ni kama cinema wote Theater Half <laughs> kuna watoto wa wa, wa hapana sasa pale bana wana kondoo nyinyi bana yani yani wana kondoo fani mmejenjaruka jenjaruka bana mimi sijapenda ule sijapenda ile kanisa mliogopa ya 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 kuna upako utakuwa upi yani ule upako ule nikiuletea mboe mboe ule sto boy wewe ushakutana na kanisa gari ya hali ya chini yani labda ni vanguard 
Nilikane saili hapa soma la pango hapa ndo kopo sifati imani hapa. Pale mimi siji pale. It's a safe Nisame. place. Nisame. Mm. Kwa hiyo wewe upendi uongo na unapenda mtu mwenye mtu muogopa Mungu, mcha Mungu wenyewe unakwambia. Mm-hmm. Also akwe wise mimi sometimes I want to come back nijifunze kitu mm, kutoka kwa hiyo man. smart as well yes. I'm smart. Yeah yani street and book. Mm. You know that's very important. And also akwe free of life meaning ana uwezo kusafiri ana ana is a traveler ana exposure. Sasa kama mimi hapa mfano huu mwaka wangu wote mimi kwa wiki niko off mara mbili na nahisi naweza ngapiga ndani ya umo mwaka mzima kwa mimi na wewe hatuwezi kuwa pamoja sacrifice inatokea oh, ni sacrifice ni shoot zangu the junction ni shoot zangu na my movie kweli baby tutakula nini <laughs> umeona hapo sijapenda no kuna wengine wa, wa, the marriages kabisa mwingine yupo America mwingine yupo Tanzania mm. you get mm. saying yes mm. Yes, Watoto yes, wame mwanangu wame... mmoja hivi. Hata mm. Canada. Eh, hey, mwanangu mmoja bwana kamuoa. Mwanangu kapata kazi Marekani, kamuoa dada kwa hapa hapa ambao alikuwa wote wako wanapendana. Kwa hiyo unaiweza hiyo? Hayo miki kweli hata siwezi. Yule mwanangu wakati ananipa pia wakati ananiambia sikutaka kumshauri ubaya. Hey. Kikweli kabisa. <laughs> Lakini <laughs> nimuuliza tu mwanangu bwana leo utaiweza hiyo? Also ah. money brings to the family. Ya fule mwamba sasa unaweza kutaba na bana nishwa na kazi. Mm. Adondoki hata mwaka mzima. Yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah, the yeah, no, is... kuna mbeo mke. Yaani wewe ume, oh, wewe mke wako wewe mwaka mzima kwamba ni eti na mahusiano. Eti tana mimi wewe na mimi. Wow, hiyo mimi kweli ya stay hiyo siwezi. Mimi stay. Wapo wengi sana. Canada yeah. wala they they um what watoto wanazaliwa kule they get raised kule baba yupo Tanzania anapiga kasi au aminifu na kwa hali sasa ngoja kwanza like Juda we mwaka mzima yani we mwili wako unakuwa uhitaji kupata hali hali ya ku nani ya kuwa na mwenzio eti mm. afu mimi eti ndo niko mbali kwa kwamba mimi hapa mana... for holidays the holidays miaka miezi sita ah Juda <laughs> we ah hiyo hmm. mbaya. Ah watoto wana watakuja kutuchanganya siku moja tuje kuja ndo unaenda huko mbele kwa mbele wewe ukuta ndo lakini agreement na Canada ukapiga mafisu mtu. Ah mistake yo mama. Au matukio kajinyongea Canada. Mistake yo mama. Agreement it comes with agreement kwa mm. kweli. Kila mtu na relationship na agreement. Ah hiyo hapana. Wewe hiyo unaiweza. Ikintokea I have to be nani? Ah yani wewe ah wewe unaweza kuwa na mahusiano if i love the, if, if i love mzima. the guy why not mwaka mzima muonane mwaka mzima kwa muonane ah ah mwaka mzima no that's a lot miezi sita miezi sita i can manage ah wanaweza lakini wana miezi sita sita mara 30 ni ngapi siku 180 Oi, bado wewe siku 180. Ameweza. Ah, ya wewe. Tuko kwa the same group chat. Kwa ndugu yangu hapo uko, utakuingia kwenye mosado wewe una 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 unataka una kitu gani ambacho? Lakini if you show your woman is faithful, yani anaona kila yani hata huwazi hizo vingine kwa kweli. Mm, if it's the love vingine so na majaribu ya shetani vitu vingine. Listen, unaongea na mke wako uh, on FaceTime. Judah mimi ni faithful boyfriend ever. Eh, Ayo, hey, hey, sasa je? Judah award. Hey. Yembe nyurambi lakini when sasa I met, when I met una Charles, shetani no, 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 no. akipita when I first met Charles me it's when I find guys the pictures are yeah. hotel, hotels and everything yeah. and stuff like that from my future business do you relax sasa my photographer I kwa nafanya kazi pamoja na Charles they were mm. in the same studio and it was slide mm. studio that's how I met Charles boss man Charles every time ni, nikifanya editing na my photographer Charles lazima ni chekeshe Judah leo nimetoka kunimchepuko leo ah. nimefanya hii each every time ni ana ana story ana story sasa hivi ananiambia nini Jamani Judah ah. ananiacha wa mnyama sasa hivi ananiambia he is a faithful boyfriend he has been I'm a change kwa change vipi kweli 
mashabiki wangu wakubwa ni wakina dada unajua wakina dada na wakina dada ku express um, feeling zao kwa mtu ambaye wanamshabikia mm. it's very normal kwa very normal very, normal. very, very, very easy, easy. yani mm. mimi nampendaga na kupendaga unajua hizo mm. dms nyingi unakuta sasa unakuta hizo nakupendaga hizo sometimes watu ambao tuko nao kwenye mahusiano wapendi hizo wanakuona mm, ah wote mia wote nakupendaga hapa katika mia hawa hata wawili watatu hawa mna kweli unajua mm. sababu nakumbuka ni shek kwa kwenye mahusiano alafu yule mwanamke alikuwa kila comment ambayo naipata na screenshot anantumia dada ni nani unaona Oh ni nani? Yo ni monitoring monitoring spirit. Yeah, ah, kabisa. My brother. Ah, for ye mwenyewe hajui anayo. My brother, yeah, bila mimi hapa na Ben wapewa za kusema screenshot kama ujaendelea. Yeah. Mimi mwenyewe nilitokea kwangu and I had to that's a red flag for me. Siku moja bana mimi nilikuwa ni, yani niko na mtoto nini? Not Baby wangu kabisa my girlfriend. Mm. Tumetoka zetu out to enjoy sasa sijui kule au kule kama alivurugana na mtu kule mm. e, kama akana ambia kwamba wasi boyfriend wako nimeyeshu kwa yule mtoto kumbe yeye alikuwa ananisikiza mimi nilale baada ya kutoka zetu mtu kama <laughs> saa 8 hivi mke ni mimi zangu sasa naamka kama saa 12 asubuhi afu boyfriend huyo girlfriend wangu huyo alikuwa ni apendi kabisa naambia matukio ni una panda enjoyment sijui nini sijui nini yale lakini siku ile <laughs> nafumbua macho mm. tena bebe wangu kwanza sio kalala kitandani uh. tukakaa afso tukakaa kaagiza na drink sio tukaagiza na drink na na smoke cigarette yani kwamba kavurugwa afu kama ni mtu ambaye ana fast fashion kwa ni vote nimefungua macho hapo afu kama ni kwani kwani ni kama mpya hii kwa ni kageuza kichwa pande ya pili pande ya pili nikakutana na simu yangu Ai nikasema nikiishika hapo kwanza itakuwa ataniona kama nimeamka. Kwa hiyo nikatulia hivi. Alafu nikaishika ile simu nikakutana na message zake kama 65 hivi za screenshot. Eh kumbe alishika simu yangu aka screenshot kila kitu ambacho nicho kifanya. Alafu kwa aka nifuadia. Kwa hivyo ni fuadia pale. Oh. Kambe eh kaji screenshot hii akaji fuadia afu kanifuadia na mimi. Kwa pale nilivyosema nilivyozichungulia hivi. Nikasema nikigeuka nyuma natiwa makofi. kwa sababu tu ni yule mama alipenda alitaka kushika simu yangu. Eh simu yako. Eh nilimuuliza tu ameshika simu yako naomba simu yako. Kama jonza hii kesa kuchoshana. Mimi naomba simu yako. Yes imetoka. Kona ya nyepesi. Basi nyepesi ninayo hii. Hata kama anazo mbili au tatu. Hizo hizo. Sio 65 lakini hizo hizo. Tunazo. Twendelea. Unakutana na vitu kama hivyo. A challenges nyingi sana kwenye mahusiano na ukiwa hivi. Yaani sometimes unajua kazi zetu unashoot paka usiku. Siku nyingi. Unashukuru siku nyingi sana. I know my brother. Unaona? Kwa hiyo mtu anakuwa at first anaweza akawa anaelewa yupo kazini yupo kazini mm. lakini sasa unajua yeye hajai kufanya hii kazi kwa hiyo mm. kweli kazini mpaka saa 9 saa 9 saa usiku eh saa 9 mnashoot hadi usiku naambia sasa mama ukiona hii ukiona kwenye movie usiku mm. anaona unashoot saa ngapi sasa je no. au unaweza kuna editing au unaweza kuna hii kwa hiyo naambia yeah naambia hivyo <laughs> nini kwa mwingine sasa anaweza akakuelewa mwingine sasa anaona hapana mm. so labda mwanaume ni amtaka wa hivi Ajua. Yeah that's yeah. a red flag for me anyone also when you get caught through screenshots mimi yani kuna wengine uh, they uh, feel kama i don't know kuna delusion of flan hivi mtu anaweza kudhani ah mimi na mdate Osman kumbe <coughs> ujae kum Jordan sija fe so screen 65 zote ndio tuniko hapo nimetembea hapana yani ni 
hadi mtu ambaye yetu anahisi ni huyu ni mwanamke wako kuna mtu kwa kutumia say baby sikuna mtu yes yani kwamba alinitumia vitu vingi ambavyo aliangalia simu yangu wazee yeah, yeah. you are a genius she was insecure kwa pia ni very insecure yani yeah, yeah. kwa kitu mimi kikweli sikukipenda mm. mm. na juda usiyo ukafanya hivyo kwa mpenzi wa kama ambao unampenda kama ambao umpendi wewe fanya lakini kama ambao unampenda ushika simu yake si, au wewe yeah. unaamini unaweza kwenye kushika simu yake no i haven't i haven't kwa kweli unless yani kitu kweli umenipa sign that umachishi mm. with our relationship i will lakini like, i would like yani kuingia kwenye mahusiano na wewe mm. through trust mm. yeah right. and kama upo sawa na mimi with trust i wouldn't even think twice mm. Mm. Lakini screenshots ya nani ah mi have time kukimbiza na wateja. So sama yeah. pia kwa kwenye usawa na mtu ambaye yuko busy pia kama ina kitu inasaidia. Yes. yes. Hata mi, hata mimi napenda sana. Yeah. Mimi napenda sana. Mtu ambaye yuko idol mara nyingi anakuwa na idol mind is a empty mind yani anatafuta yeah, mtu ambaye yuko idol oh. ni like muda wote anakucheki tu. Uko wapi? Yeah. Nafa nini? Sini ni. Oh, wewe pale unafanya hivi, huyu pale unafanya hivi. Sio ufanye nini? Yes, lakini ukiwa na mtu yuko busy. Ah, raha sana. Asubuhi tumnachekeana zenu, kidogo kama mjukuu zenu pamoja, mchana pale tumekula. Eh, bana sijakula baby, sini nini nini. Okay baby, sina kutumia lunch hapo, unamtumia mtoto kidogo lunch fulani. Ah ah. Sasa hivi niko single, sio vitu vya kweli. Sasa niko single. Umeachwa nini? Mimi <laughs> Nimeachika ila <ia> naburudika Haya <laughs> madisco dance Naweza kumuona afanye kitu kama hivyo Naweza kumuona anacheza hivi Kuna hii nyimbo Hivi unahisi watu wako wa karibu wewe ukiwa hapo unakuongeleaje au mpenzi wako dai bwana hiyo swali nimpe hiyo sasa sije kufikiria unajua je kufikiria emfikiria wewe unisije wana kuongeleaje kama ukiwa hapo kama hapo kama na juda hapa ah juda you so beautiful ongera sana kazi yako ni nzuri si ni nini umependeza juda ukiondoka unahisisi hapo tunakuongeleaje wewe eh sija fikiria hivyo lakini i don't know mimi namsimamo that's what you know Ah wewe mm. wewe unahisi unamsimama kwa watu wako toka jamani chuda ni mtu mwenye misimamo. Bwana mm. <laughs> <laughs> kunipa jina na ongea lakini ndio hiyo. Mimi bana. Ah maana mimi mara nyingi ukiwa sehemu na mimi kama ujanizoea unaweza kuboreka kwa sababu mara nyingi na kwa sizungumzi mm. Yeah. Ndio maana akamwambia kwenye ile set sio kwa mwanangu kama dakika 30 kama ulikopo umekaa kwenye ndinga kwa sababu uko uelewi. Kumbe sasa hapo hapo ndio umenielewesha. Kumbe wewe uko yeah. uelewi siku ile. Ukija pale ni wewe sasa bado yani unajua set, unajua eh. na, nilikuwa na, na kuona. Mm. Namjua Charles. <laughs> Namuona Charles uko kwenye set. <laughs> na najua anacheza naye. <laughs> Lakini sasa na kwa approach vipi pale? Yaani hiyo waga na nipa gaya changamoto sana. Yaani nikuta kama wana hivi da mm. salimiaje? na mkia sama leku inakuwaaje yani sijui unajua yeah kwa hiyo mimi nahisi nikiondoka sehemu kitu ambacho hiyo cha kwanza watu watakizungumzia kuhusu mimi mm. labda jamaa mkimia wewe unapenda kusoma mazingira mm. before you Sa- are open sahihi kabisa mm. sahihi wewe anapenda wewe au wewe umehisi wewe anapenda kusoma mazingira mm. kwa mtu mkimia na anapenda kusoma mazingira aya 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 sasa mimi mwenzenu ni muongeaji na mimi napenda kusoma mazingira kuliko nyinyi wa kimya kwa Kweli. sababu yes mm. mimi nakwambia ukweli kabisa mimi na ah. kwenye maisha yangu mimi nachoshanaga na wapenzi wangu kwa kitu kimoja tu wengi wao ah matukio ni wewe unataka uwe unaongea sana lakini leo hii mimi naendesha the junction wanangu mnaenjoy umenielewa eh 
Eh, kumbe iko kitu kipo. Mungu ametengeneza listener, msikilizaji na muongeaji. Mm. Sasa wewe unataka wote tu tunasikiliza. Matokeo wewe inabidi wewe mkimi na msikilizaji. Ah basi wote dunia nzima tungekupo tunasikilizana hebu. Si nikukopogiza hilo. Tu tunasikiliza. Wa, yani ni kimya cha dunia. <laughs> Mimi cha tutaenda siku moja sema my brother afu utacheka sana afu utajikuta wewe ndo unaonge listen listen sio kwa team yani hapo pia sasa anasoma mazingira anakuchama kujua uwe uko kwenye lengo gani unacheka nini anakuchama and then hapo ndo you can be your own self around him yes yani kwa duniani kuna watu talkative na listener na listeners watu wengi wanapenda wawe listener lakini sio kila saa uwe listener you need to talk ili watu pia wa mimi mwenyewe nimsoma mimi mwenyewe nasoma mazingira because i don't want mweka mtu weird position and stuff like that also i'm also reserved yani inachukua muda ndio hiyo hivi nyie mnaweza kufanya biashara na wapenzi wenu like nafungua restaurant na mpenzi wako nafungua sio nini na mpenzi wako sio mke wako mpenzi wako na mpenzi mm. uh, mimi as long as the numbers are correct sahi the numbers uh. are correct as long as huyo mtu kweli ana historia kufungua biashara before uh, uh, wewe labda hapa sasa hivi tumepiga zetu the junction na mwanangu hapo Othman saa bana kumbe hapa mmetoka zenu hapa mmebadilishana zenu namba kimya kimya sin Othman hajawahi kufungua labda biashara mimi mm-hmm. bana afu baba Othman tu anakupaidia bana baby ah, mimi nimeidia flani hivi tukifungua zetu restaurant au liquor store itakuwa lit sana lazima tukue na professional behind the numbers behind management behind kila kitu so kufungua ni one thing lakini hiyo si tuna exchange mawazo sasa mm-hmm. kuweka oh, well, unaweza kufanya biashara na na mpenzi wako bila tatizo lolote. Kama nikikuwa na mpenzi wangu ana experience, yani ana well and good nipo rather. Cuz well and good man, well yeah. and good in nini hapo unachukua. Yani ni vizuri nipo I'm okay. Lakini as long as ana hizo qualities. Sitaki kupoteza my time na muda na mtu and then the business or the project fails. Umone. Yuda, and, um, and next so. thing you know sometimes it can be tough because you're putting your relationship into the into the business kwa mfano kwa mfano mtu mpenzi wako hana experience wewe ndio mwenye experience hapa mbaya biashara uko tayari kufanya nani mimi kama akinipa i mean it depends on the numbers i don't know so if you want to get there <laughs> so. but yeah but it really depends like that's not going to happen diamango has to be more ah kwa na tunarudi tena pale pale wanawake waomba nyinyi mnataka ku opportunity how no nyinyi i am also a table i bring something to the table he also brings something to the table okay kwa hapo hapo haya niambie sasa mahusiano mahusiano mengi ya sisi squeeze au sio Mwana mume wewe ndo inabidi we provider we kila kitu we kila kitu we kila kitu na usipokuwa una mzigo maana yake hawezi kumiliki piska au si nafasi ya mwanamke kwenye mahusiano ni nini Hey, tajudi anakatupa kabisa na kiji. Wewe ndo nafasi ya mwanamke hiyo. Wewe jamani Jude kasemaje nafasi ya mwanamke? Ni inapendeza ukikuwa na mwanamke kama usikiliza. Unapendeza ukikuwa na mwanamke? ana ana kitu kama wewe or nani you guys bring both to the table mm. and kama if you guys bring both to the table you guys can do projects together in the restaurants or whatever umenyelewa mm. it has to go within kitu wewe mfumo wako wa maisha ina nani that's how you create haiwezi kwa mwezaki na nani haiwezi i don't see it like that because 
kama ikikuwa hivi mwezake anamtumia mwezake <coughs> bado umemuelewa hapo you have to be equally balanced you have to know what lazimisha tuelewe hapo lazima ukuwe balanced <laughs> Lazima kuwe balance ili ufanye project. Hapo no. naongea my brother. <laughs> Lazima kuwe balance. Au umemuelewa ndugu yetu au katichanga. Bado unafikiria? Yeah man it shows is not that bad. Aba una lot. Hebu nipe lolote lako. Da twist kuelewa wanawake. Eh? Twist kuelewa. Ngumu sana. Sawa na Mungu jua nyinyi wanawake waga mnatuchanganyaga sana kwa psychology. Kwani what's your turn off kwa mwanamke? Mimi. Mm. Mm, sasa hapo kwa leo mimi umenichapa. That's a good question I mean asema. My turn off uh, hygiene what? Na mimi spendi tu mwanamke ambaye yani amini amini yani. Okay. Yeah, yani kwa, ulisema yo kwa sababu mimi hapa mimi yani mimi jina langu wenyewe kwanza eh, ni matukio. Matukio. Kwa hiyo sasa ni wewe ukianza kuwa uniamini. Yani wewe mimi mwisho wa siku tutakuwa tunachoshana sana afu mimi sipendi kugombana gombana. Yani mimi kero kero hivi mwili wangu. Mm. Yani kero mimi ni ni kwa kero itaji. kwenye kutafuta maisha. Kwa hiyo itaji peace eh, kutoka kwake. Mimi zangu enjoyment ndio maana mimi muda wote napenda kucheka, kuenjoy nini. Yani mimi vitu vyangu na vitu ambavyo unanichosha kweli naamka na sali asubuhi unanisumbua kichwani kwangu <laughs> eh lakini sio eti kitu ambacho ch- sio cha lazima yani very careful ah ah very careful miss kwa hiyo wewe wewe unacheka na kuimagine ukiwa una sali baba mimi na sali wewe unafunga kabisa ah kwenye kufunga pale sasa bado bado eh lakini kwa lazima hii eh yeah, kwa lazima hii nataka nianze kufunga amen eh yeah, kufunga amin. unajua sisi kidogo hapo twende tena hapo kwenye sasa imani mm. sisi wa Kristo uh, atukufundishwa kufunga kama waislamu like 40 days mm. mcha, ile 30 days wao wanafanya asubuhi paka jioni no sisi wa Kristo tuna kuna, kuna kule kufunga kwa matendo like wani punguza baba vitu fulani labda kama wewe bwana mzee matukio unapenda kitu fulani mm. punguza tena sio punguza kidogo punguza sana fanya nini ni punguza yani yani kila ni kipindi cha 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 Mungu e, mfanya matendo mema eh mm. mimi waga nafanya hivyo vitu lakini Asa. yeah lakini sasa ile kwenye kufunga kabisa ni kama safari nita kama nianze kujifunza kufunga hivyo mm. it's not bad just do 6 um 6 o'clock paka 6 pm eh mm. yeah. yani nisile msosi yes nife You know, una maji. Kuna dry fast na water fast. Mama, ya na translate hata kijichungu. So for beginners, try, try water Kiji. fast. Ndiz. Ah, wewe ndo kana mimi ni hivi sasa. That's how you fast. Sasa kwa matike yo. Ah, sasa unaweza kujitahidi taratibu. Yeah. Unajitahidi taratibu. Ah, ah, sasa ngoja kwanza tufungi hivyo. Yaani unasema baba unapiga zako tu breakfast? No. Alafu unakuja kula zako jioni. Yaani ndio kupiga ile full. Full fululu. Fululu. Yeah, la mimi mimi ninavyofikiri kufunga zaidi kufunga zaidi sisi tumefocus sana kwenye chakula lakini ni swala la kufunga yes. zaidi matendo. Yes. Na mimi ndo na mimi hapa mimi yani. mimi hapa ni Mkristo Roman Catholic na sisi kanisa ni kwetu waga ndo tunachoambia funga matendo yako sio funga chakula. Yaani funga mm-hmm. matendo hata ukiwa umefunga kwa sio Kristo tunaambiwa paka mafuta mdomo wako kana usionekane ile kama kinyonge ni kama umezofika a eh mm-hmm. yani wewe unaonekana zako uko zako fresh yani kama uko zako poa nini lakini umefunga mm-hmm. lakini baba na kwenye kufunga msosa hapo siku nzima hapo mishe mishe nozi na zaska hasa hapo ndo unaambia ndo tuna shoot zetu junction leo ndo sijakula mama yangu mzazi ndio itakuwa bala hapo mm-hmm. mm? No so, Now, how about have you would you date an older woman? Uh, no 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 no. I was so mambo yangu. Yes. Mm-hmm. I was so mambo yangu kabisa. Kwenye maisha <laughs> kila mtu anapenda vitu vyake. Eh mimi bwana yani mwanamke akinizidi umri tu. Ah. Stuck. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu mimi mwenyewe matukio. Eh bafu mwanamke anizidi umri yani atakapo ni ni dada fulani ambaye anajielewa za yani hataki porukushane mm. sasa kutana matukio atamletea porukushane atanichukia bure afu mimi sipendi kuchukiana na watu 
eh mimi napenda tu ah yani si tu enjoy tu vibe ni sasa wewe mwisho wa siku utaanza kuna ah yani matike yani si yani tuliachana sio same gani Ah asubuhi na bio matukio yuko elements. <laughs> Unajua zile? Mm, eh yeah. mtu kama yule lakini sasa ukiomba una toto kako fulani hivi yani. Hebu jana uko elements sikuepo. Unako hapo sikuepo. Unako hapo sikuepo. Imeisha. Bwana mimi niko nyumbani hemjo. Bas wao yeye mtoto kaibuka zake mbana kwa kutoka kwa nyumba zake umepumzika ile imeisha hiyo. Sasa hapo kuna yule nguri nganga ile yule. Anakutimbia hapo hapo element anakuja kubeba mzobe mzobe mimi nataka. Alo. Ha umetokea wewe. Okay wanangu hebu niambieni kwenye kazi yenu um kitu yani siku ambayo muwezi kuisawa yani changamoto ilikuwa the boss day kaba kaba siku nzuri eh, siku mbaya kabisa ya kwenye kazi yako hebu nikumbushe ah uh, <coughs> mimi bwana mimi hiyo kazi ambayo nilipata Kenya mm. yeah so siku kama nne kabla sijasafiri boss alinipigia simu akaniambia Othman kambia naam inabidi uje tarehe fulani kambia ya anajua sasa na swali nikamwambia okay akaniuliza can you swim eh pale pale nikasema eh hey, naweza kwa nini umesema hivyo sasa asante ah, ndo nafika hapo kibunda kibunda <laughs> <laughs> nimesema hey. kibunda yani afa kile yangu ananiambiaje yani jibu la hapana lisiwe jibu la mm. lisiwe jibu la kwanza kwenye so, maisha yako yani useme tu no kwenye vitu sasa kuna sasa. vitu zinatokea Yeah. Sasa la, lakini pia nikakiona kitu kama kukuswim nikasema ni sio issue. Sio sana. Eh, hey, nasika no, kukuswim kwenye kiji swim. Can you swim? Eh? Huh? Can you swim? Mimi najua kuchezea maji. Yaani ile 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 sema ambayo mimi naweza kusimama ndio hapo hapo. Alafu kuogelea kwenda huku paka kule ambapo sema naweza kusimama naweza. Yeah. Kitu ambacho ndicho nishinda ni ile kufloat. Eh kwa sababu nishae kujaribu kufloat. Eh unacheza cheza hivi kufloat. Mimi na kila nikifanya hivi vi miguu sina nini? Nazama tu. Nazama. Si hizi zo shughuli, sio mambo yangu. Mimi sio samaki. Mimi ni binadamu. Tuheshimiane Juda. Tuendelee my brother. So um mimi ni kusema vile akaniambia you sure? Nambia eh poa. That's fresh. Kwa hiyo nikaenda huko nini ni vitu vikiendelea siku ya kwanza on set. Inabidi twende kushuti kama asubuhi sana ilikuwa. Mm. Kwa pale my breakfast man nini nini by the way nawashukuru sana wali wali ni host vizuri hospitality ilikuwa nzuri mm. sana. Yaani wali ni value. Mm. Kwa sasa as tunapoenda kushuti ni kwa spajui tunaenda wapi? Bana. Lakini nguo shani nunulia. Kwa hiyo yule mtu wa nguo mavazi kashaniambia tuko sawa usijali kila kitu tuliku si tunajua kwa sababu vipimo mm. nilituma kila kitu. Sasa tumefika any location bahari ah eh umbe ni kuswim bahari mimi sijui hapo bana kapewa nguo nini nini lakini zile nguo nilipopewa sio za kuogelea ni nguo tu za kuvaa mtu akiwa beach umeona sasa basi mimi nikavaa tu zile nguo nini nika wakaanza kwenye shoot mimi nika shoot nikajua nimemaliza sasa kuna mwingine cast mwingine mm ambaye naye alikuwa ni main yeye akawa menda ko ameenda kushoot kama anazama anataka anataka kumuokoa mimi sijui hapo lakini kwa mimi ni kwa ha yule ana da ana ndo ana shoot vile noma da anapata shida sana yule mwanamke baadaye ndo naambiwa jon 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 ni kwenda jeje 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 nikamwambia sasa ndo sini yako nini ipi inabidi uogelee kutoka kule uje muokoe bro barini Wasili Nairobi au Mombasa? Mombasa. Barini nikamwambia director mgoja kwanza. Kuanzia wapi na Barini hapa mm. yani Barini kama tunaenda Azam Ferry. Yaani kama tunaenda Coco Beach. Ah okay. Yeah. Inabidi uogelee umfuate nini tunapiga shot ya drone kuna zingine nini. <laughs> Nilikuwa sina script kwa sababu ilikuwa ni ni opening scene mm. ya kipindi. Ndio nafungua kipindi. Ndio nafungua kile kipindi kigeanza inaonyeshwa hiyo scene. Kwa hiyo yani kwa namna script. Ah ndo nikakumbuka lile swali, can you swim? Yaani lile swali ndo nikalikumbuka nikasema, "Ah okay, kumbe ndo hapa." Sasa uzuri 
ilikuwa ni muda umekwenda kwa hiyo maji ile wayashanza kurudi nyuma mm. kwa ndio kilicho niokoa hicho lakini yani na kwa sababu ni kuogelea na unaingia kwenye unaingia kwenye maji ikiwa nguo imekauka maana mm. ni one take mm. Elewa, na lazima uogelee yani ile drone ile isije kaenda mbali au vipi yani mm. uende na usambamba <laughs> ilikuwa ni noma kula sana nimekunywa sana vikombe yani pale ila mna mtalijua la nini ah mimi ngasema Mungu mimi naogelea bana hasa uzuri ni kwamba nilipokuwa naogelea kuna watu wengine wawili nyuma mm. nao wan, nao ni kama walikuwa wanaenda kumuokoa yule dada mm. kwa tukao wote sasa mimi inabidi niwashinde wale wasinipite kwa mimi niwafanye niambia sikiza jamani mimi kuogelea kwenye bahari sijawahi kabisa nishikogea lakini kwenye swimming pool na ilikuwa muda mrefu mm. <laughs> kwao nikamwambia mimi bwana siwezi kuogelea kwao nyinyi vyote mnavyoogelea hakikishieni amnipiti ah po 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 kwao tukaanza tukaogelea 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 lakini Mungu ni mwema tulishoot congratulations yeah thank you lakini da ilikuwa sije kuwa stressed na sin kama ile mm. kwa sababu kwanza ni one take alafu sije kuogelea kwenye bahari kabisa alafu unamuokoa mtu unamchukua unamtoa unambeba unamweka nchi kavu yeah kwa hiyo ilikuwa noma niyo mimi na mbili mhm kwenye kipindi cha rema wali book yote wali book yote mara mbili lakini the second time wali book nilikuwa na driver wangu ni mzanzibari so hiyo we had like alpha dio alpha ndio inabeba mizigo like um ile vinywaji za wateja chakula like the nigerian food wali mm. request so i had to request kwa uh, dada kupika hapa dar es salaam kupeleka paka zanzibar um there was a lot like i nimeleta all the credentials that are the, my merchandise in the hiyo hapo nimekupa charles so there's so many so long story cut short we driver wangu I, uh, that day ni mem fire for real. Like I think God I had another driver the next day. Like the driver was driving so fast cuz no na alikuwa na kimbiza alikuwa na kimbi to meet the time. Ili wageni wakifika vitu zitakuwa there. Mm. But he was driving so fast paka matai na barabara za Zanzibar especially when you're out of stone town ni mbaya mm. they're restructuring the roads tayari nimepasuka hiyo hapo wageni wanatakiwa kuja at the yacht in one hour time has tupo shambani mm. there's no network there's any there's no any petrol station nini you get everywhere is one hour and 30 minutes away Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Hey, I had to quickly re- release a new car. Kwa enda kwa shuka wageni ili ni deal na huyu driver. And hapo napanga kule yot. It was a lot. And the time but I managed. Mm. The time wa kinarema mmekuja I had to tell the drivers wa wazungushe kidogo. We still yeah. nani. Mm. So well, they well, were zungusha for like an extra one hour. Ili nifanye panga wamekuja it was a long ride my car was a long ride but clearly i was naniko nafanya mandalis but that driver he drives so fast any point that na mimi napenda ukweli because that's my business he was driving so fast any tayari imepasuka thank god i was not there like ni mimi niko na coordinate tayari amepasuka on top of that um bumper mbele the pressure was so real bumper mbele litoka Mm-hmm. It was so painful. Yani not only amefanya damages, mm-hmm. I mean potezea muda na wateja pia. So, yeah. so those things really annoyed me. And then but I managed like our, our again it's our job to not make them see the behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Our job is to make the trip as smooth. Mm-hmm. So ndo hizo mambo za behind the scenes una deal now. Right. And then another one was my first one of my first um, services not first early services yeah it was in 2021 niko na again a couple from Ghana first time in Tanzania mm. they wanted to go to Zanzibar so they were staying at the Hyatt so thank god the Hyatt and the ferry was opposite each other 
So tulisema hivi okay fine tutakula brunch kaka ataenda kukata ticket tukimaliza brunch tunaenda ferry. Um they were going to the ferry. Mimi na na wa na tunas, we just say our goodbyes wata connect na my team huko Zanzibar. Mm. He jaman. <laughs> Mda imesogea. Ah, ferry ni si the next 30 minutes uh-huh. na mpiga jamaa hapo K. Okay. Oh. Kumbes kaondoka na hela za it was um it was like 130 150 dollars mm. kaondoka nazo mm. because you know you expatriate walaipa dollars mm. kulipa kuna ferry mm. so yeah so amaondoka nazo ameona ni hela so i had to quickly do a quick mm. ferry zote zimeshaondoka i had to rush them myself with my personal car to the airport purchase them a last the 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 quickest flight mm. otherwise i will have to also pr- get um cover their cost yeah hotel wali book mm. thank god i managed yani but that driver yani that was the time sijakuwa na magari hapa da niko na kodisha kodisha that driver he was a crook kumbe he anajulikana kufanya hivyo mm. so unaopata vichangamoto Mm. I think God I had money kuna kuna siku zingine huna hela unategemea mm. mtija kulipa au ufanye hiyo kitu. Yeah. So thank God I had extra money to do that. But what did you say? We thought we're going to do a ferry. I'm like no um A B C D mm. happened but I I managed to get you guys a flight to make your hotel on time. So there's certain things behind the scenes no vitu kama hizo za changamoto. Mm. And then there are days when uh, yacht charter what are you wana buka yot and then it rains mm. that happened in Zanzibar but thank god nilikuwa na wageni wazuri ni wazungu wazungu wakiona mvua naona ndo bust and it's 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 heaven for them more Africa ah Africa I took it out hotel ni kwake mm, yeah so those are the hidden changamotos the fake news so you have to be very cautious you have to be ready at all times when it comes to evil and yeah mm. uh Tari wanangu sisi ndoeza kuwa na watoto right family wewe mzangu unataka ku, ku raise family yako kwa style gani uh, kitu ambacho unachokifanya sasa hivi unacho unafanya maigizo mama amefanya maigizo wewe unafanya maigizo unatamana mtoto wako pia aje kuwa mwigizaji well <clears throat> kwa sababu naielewa sana mm. na hisi mimi nitakuwa nitakuwa msaada mkubwa sana kwake kama akihitaji kuwa msanii. Nikiwa na maana nitakuwa najua wapi apite, wapi afike. Mm. Yeah. Lakini pia nitaangalia pia yeye mwenyewe anapenda nini kwa sababu mimi pia mamaangu au babangu wazazi wangu waliangalia anapenda nini. Mm. Wakaamua. Wewe umeniambia familia yote tunatoa doa kwa nimba DRC Kongo mziki. Yeah. Kuna wewe mama alikuwa panaigiza, uhisi kama ni influencer kufanya au maigizo ndio umesababisha paka na wewe kuanza kumigizaje. Labda wewe kumbe ungekupo zako tu mtu wa kitabu sasa hivi ungekupo ah Dr. Othman na kudondoka zangu pale. Hapana. Hapana. Eh? Sisi BRT pale babu unanitibu una tibu macho pale mzee <laughs> wewe. Eh? kwa sababu kama nilivyokuambia ni mwalimu wake mama ndo ali, aliona kipaji chao. Mm. Kwa hiyo mama pia aliona mimi napenda nini. Mm. Kwa akaamua kuni support hapa. Kwa mimi pia inshallah niki nikibarikiwa kupata mtoto watoto Mm. Tangalia pia kwanza wao wanapenda nini? Mm. Wanataka nini? Na nitengeneze mazingira ya kuwasaidia wao wafike hapo wanapopataka. Unajua? Sio ndio wanao moto siku hizi project Mbappe. Mtoto yeah. anacheza <laughs> mpira aje kutupa hela. Ah. Yeah, ya yeah, unamwangalia pia. Unaweza kumforce huko alafu sio kwake. Mm. Kaja kukulaumu baadaye ah kini mzee bwana. Yeah, ah mimi kule so kwa napenda zangu mchezaji wangu tennis sasa hivi niko pozangu mchezaji mm. tennis huko yeah. yako lazimisha boli tu. Ya yeah, kwa sababu mjo siwa keja akifeli mtoto. Mm. Kwa namna moja ama nyingine lama naweza kurudi kwako pia. Yeah. Unajua? Mm. Yeah. Tumeona hizo kwa watu wengi sana. What about you Jordan? Um I want to raise my family with love. Yaani mm. upendo ni kitu muhimu sana. That's mm. how tumezaliwa wazazi wetu wame they made mm. love to, yeah but like other than that um nataka 
kuonyesha fami- my raise my kids to kujua value ya hela mm. value ya mfumo wa maisha value ya uh, you know um usijishushe shauri ya mani sababu kuna watu wengi wamejishusha shauri ya hela mm. you be surprised what wa- wamefanya vitu vya ajabu kwenye hela ndogo mm, so yeah. urudi unatokea kurudi back to your family kujua wewe ni umetokea kwenye familia hii unajisimama mwenyewe no money can shake you umeona mm. sababu so, watu wanaweza kukutisha mimi Othman nakupa 100,000 dollars sasa hivi mpige nani <laughs> Charles Kibao 100 dollar <laughs> 100,000 dollars 100,000 dollars na kuwasha eh baba mimi na yeye nakwambia aje kuwasha wewe unakula 50 mimi nakula 50 yani unanipigia bao paka kwa beki nazimia bwa eh but you get what i mean yani ile usi come out of character show your hell that makes any sense kama umekubaliana well and good lakini don't come out of character ujishushe hivyo mm, kuna wanawake wamemeza dawa just kuenda kwa dola 5000 mm. that's your life ufikiria familia inakuaje baadaye ukikamatwa those kind of things there's so many things umenyelewa mm. and also um usimame na Mungu sana yani mm. mimi i'm grateful nilisoma kwenye um primary school ya 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 Kristo it was a it was a Christian school in Ito mm. Park so kila friday lazima tu, tuseme tujue bible verse ya biblia and it was a spelling test pia so kila friday yeah, it, it keeps you grounded and also mar, a right marafiki and everything lakini tunarudi back to where i started love yani we love him yeah. sana because mm. that can never take you um yani ama mtu anaweza kukutoa out of that yani how to explain it yeah sababu so, ukiishi kwenye maisha ya familia kivita na visu na nini mm. as an adult unajua hiyo ndio love mm. mwanamke anakuboa unamshamchoma kisu mm. or you get what i'm saying so mm. you go back to where yani love ni muhimu sana and and after mm. in, in, in a move sana mm. you meet the right people You know what I mean? Unashanga kuna harusi watu wanafanya holiday destination weddings. Mm. They come for love. Yaani watu wametoka mm. kwenye matikiti zao dola 1000 na 2000 mm. na <coughs> ili we Othman uwe Santorini na mke wako. Mm. Ah, that's Greece. love. Oh, we, we. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's love. They all brought us ah, of the love. Santorini unje sikio yani wewe. Tuna yani ile Na wewe mwenyewe unakuja hapa. Yaani mimi nakuacha. Eh, because of love. Mke wake inabidi yani sikio tumzimishe ili sasa tuende naye out. Kwa sababu tukienda naye out huko atatukaba. Eh, kwa hiyo inabidi kwanza tukafanya ubist Santorini. Wewe ndio unafanya bachelor. Bachelor party. Ubist kidogo. Ubist kidogo. So love ni muhimu sana. Ukimfundisha mtoto wako mambo za giza inakuwa perfect example in Netflix. There's a series night a Gazelda Blanco. Mm. Yeah, obviously she was doing what she needed to do to protect her two sons. Lakini amewafundisha the two sons kuna umri mdogo sana kupo, kusambaza unga mjini. The two sons don't make it they got killed. Mm. And she she was rotting in jail and apart news because she was not raising the kids out of love. Yes, mm. she did what she could. Lakini it was mazingira with no love. Mm. It's just our kids when they don't know love. Mm. Ah. Nani kanichoma I mean snitch kwenye deal. Tutamalizana yeye na family yake. Yes, but up you get what I'm saying so. Yeah, yeah mambo za giza. Where when I say my way is love there is life. Yeah, where is Literally love, is love. go where you're watered. Mm. You know, and that's I honestly believe in that kwa kweli. Nipenda hiyo. Hii kubwa hiyo kubwa hiyo. Hiyo kubwa hiyo. Now you be a gentleman so you don't kwa kwa na giza there's so much ego and pride mm. unashindana mdogo wako unashindana na mama you know what i mean so hata yeah. kwa in a relationship utakuwa unashindana na demo wako mm. or those kind of things yeah kwa mashindano kwenye maisha harusi atakii no. i mean it's nice in competition is good but it has to be good competition mm. so hizo yeah. za kushindana nini nini 
Sneer or whatever they call it. <laughs> Those kind of things are My fun. brother, kijana mm. mbana taka kuwa kama wewe sa hivi. Unamshauri nini? Mina mshauri ya siwe kama mimi. Astaki kuwa kama mimi. Ah, yeah. yani, kijana mbana taka kuwa za ke ana act yeah. eh, anataka kufika level fulani bwana dami bwana Othman ananikosha sana unamshauri nini yule cha kwanza kabisa discipline discipline yeah yani lazima uheshimu kwenye kuheshimu kuna vitu vingi kuna kuheshimu wakati mm. kuna kuheshimu kazi kuna kujeshimu wewe mwenyewe yani ukishakuwa na discipline mm. utafika sehemu ambazo yani hata pesa ilikuwa hizi kukufikisha hapo. So hicho ndio kitu kikubwa nitamwambia. Kwa tuna discipline. Wakati um, wewe mwenyewe na kile ambacho unakiamini na kile ambacho unakifanya. Heshima mm. tu hivyo vitu. Utafika sehemu yote ambayo wewe ulikuwa na yota unaipanga. Bas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about you, Jude? About binti wa kike ambaye anataka kuwa kama wewe anataka kuwa na host watu anataka ku, ku arrange vitu fulani basi kana sasa hivi anaangalia zake the junction kutoka UK eh? kutoka US kutoka wapi eh? anataka kuwa kama wewe unamshauri nini wewe binti mimi kwa kweli au say um, eyes on the price be ready to sacrifice vitu vingi sana cut down your old habits develop new habits um build relationships na watu even um services providers hotels drivers um restaurants kwa open minded be a hard worker it's not for this job is not for the weak it's not for the lazy mm. um kwa na goals like i every month na go Mm. Actually every week lazima niko na go lazima niko na mteja otherwise nitaikaje umeme nyumbani kwangu nitaishi vipi mm. you know what i mean kama yeah. sina mteja sina hela yeah. you know um always save always purchase invest back to your business any hela zote nikipata I, it goes to my business the 20% is my lifestyle my livelihood na nini evil But I don't see you as 20% much. 20% though una enjoy. Yeah, for my 80% una invest. Yeah, my invest in yeah. I'm growing my my business account. Chaga. Tata kichaga wewe. Yeah, yani hiyo ela ndo nanunua merchandise na na nani hivyo. Ili wateja wanarudi wanaongea and all that. Mwishoni you meet the right partners to collaborate with you, do mass hivyo. And just be consistent like mimi kwa kweli i'm grateful that airtons now many eka mara nne kwenye magazine yao na kwenye ndege oh nice like because of the consistency ya kazi yangu i've been mm. putting in the work so consistency ni mm. mpango even if no one is clapping for you just mm. do it for you cuz leo na kesho like i said mm. na unaondoka at least umeacha kitu mm. you are a beauty mark in your own right uh, till next time lakini nilikuwa na wanangu kabisa polite eh wanangu waona mbambamba hawana purukushani ila wamekupa madini mazuri na uyazingatie kijana zingatia vitu vya msingi vidogo vidogo dito ndogo ndogo tu au sio bana sema mwanangu umeona umeona dude ili dude bana huyu bana yala bana nito lax by L Jude shule yake ikofia bana nimevaa mimi na Rema mpaka sasa hivi eh hizi bado hazijatoka hizi ni special edition nimevaa mimi na Rema tu eh so, uh, na ukidondoka sehemu yote town hii hivi yani kama vile ilidude kama uko ushoni ushoni masakini masakini sikuzuiliwa eh tajiri huyu hapa si namjua yani ulibe kiingilio yani wewe wafate kwenye page yake afu ndo atajua kila kitu mabei manini 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 na sio oh. kofia tu ana make ndas kibao kwanza umesha unatamani kutoa Osma nguo zako nini nguo hapa bado kwanza bado kwanza sijafikiria ingo hiyo sijafikiria ingo hiyo aha basi sasa hii nzuri hii ya kinyamwezi basi wanangu wewe 
hapo ndo nimeamua kuligeuza zangu nyuma nikitoka zangu hapa e, na wanangu tunaendelea tukaanza out kidogo so till next week thank you so much guys Ella Jordan thank, thank you, you so much mwanangu mm. bisho <laughs> baba umetisha sana eh hey, sawa so mwaka huu ndio itaingia aje sana <laughs>